Jesus, my my voice, bro. I don't I don't talk a lot. So then when I'm when I'm screaming over a weekend, like a uh, what's it called, like a a, a weekend of matches and, and tournaments and then we end up winning the tournament and do like after party shit my voice gets fucking chalked dude i can't wait for the process too you guys are dude you guys are gonna be probably in for an absolute treat with the with the process all right we're gonna we'll just watch over the the finals today obviously uh, I'll probably be streaming a little bit more. Actually, I might I might take a little bit to go back home for a little bit, so I, won't, I probably won't be streaming too much this next one or two weeks. But uh, I at least wanted to watch like the grand finals with you guys. What jacket were was I wearing? I don't know. They gave us these like cool windbreakers this weekend, so I was wearing that. Um, I don't know if they're like available or, or for sale yet. So those uh those are really cool. Uh, I hope they go on sale for you guys because those are those are dope. Hey, appreciate you guys all, honestly. I'm gonna say one thing I never doubted the Ken pickup from the start. That boy is certified winner, as Dan Ludi said. 100 percent dude. We do not win this tournament without Ken. Ken is Ken is everything, dude. Ken's the fucking glue. I don't think people get to realize how uh how important Ken is to the team, but Hopefully they do now after winning two chips and winning the Call of Duty Championship with that. <clears throat> By the way, chat, if you guys were at the event this weekend, the crowd was fucking insane. The, the, the 360 degree center stage shit was insane. Like, me and Damon just going up and like talking to the guys, we can hear... And it's such a different feeling with the crowd just being in front of you, like on a regular stage, versus all 360 degrees. It's actually so different. If you ask any of the players too, they would say the same same thing. No sub base. The whole event is kind of crazy. I mean, yeah, it is kind of crazy. But uh, we were gonna have it game eight, I believe. But we were just feeling more comfortable on the other maps, like in our scrims and stuff. So. It's not that like we didn't really like it at all anymore, but it was just like we just felt so much more comfortable on the other ones. Because it, like subbase kind of changed. Like people, it, people were probably like, "Oh, you were like well, twelve and two on subbase or whatever." But it the, that map changed with the spawns and stuff. Uh, like midway through the year. The toughest task set before him, but Can you give Ken back to LAT? No shot. I appreciate you guys for the, for the subs. Danny Boy, Chisel, Matt Gentile, appreciate you guys all for the subs. Thank you guys. By the way, Bandana Ken map one, and even in the even in both hard points, dude. Ken, Ken with the bandana is different, bro. Ken with the bandana is fucking different. Yeah, nobody played sub base this event. I just, I don't, I think people just don't like the map because of the. I think the spawns are really bad on that map. Now, I think they they changed the spawns a little bit midway through the year, and it's also like basically a quad AR map, so not many teams like playing it. So. Two hundred and fifty seconds here in the CDL. And so far, all good for the green team. There's Kismet, though. The bulldog barks right when you need him to. Nice little two-piece to at least cut away some time. Subliners have the early rotation, and Sid gives you that intro. Gunfight and Hydra. Back wall covered. Subliners keeping everything nice and secure. Trying to keep it secure, but Kenny. Issue. Wall bang. Not there. Forward on to the point we go. Subliners, bit of control. Optic now driving their way forward. Kenny. Hey, Optic the 6 is burner. Appreciate the sub, man. Glad you suck at Optic even though the drama and rough patches. Bro, I've, I've been going through drama and rough patches my whole career as a coach, I swear. So this was, this was nothing. We, this, this was the, my favorite team to work with and I'm glad we got the, the two chips and the clutch champs obviously with it. Kenny, won't let anyone get in the hard point without a little bit of love and now another break. Comms video? 
Um, I think Optic probably will be posting it sometime this week. I don't know if the, the league has released the comms for us yet. Because I was, I was looking for the comms uh, for the previous matches during the weekend. So like when we played LEG and LET on, on the, the Saturday, I wanted to listen to the comms, but they hadn't uploaded it yet, so... I have to see if they've actually There's uploaded Hydra. it. There's Hydra. The three speed for this scrap in the rotation. Two clean. Subliners have the lead. That's a lead change. The first of the game. Hey, break. Thank you for the 10 gifted. Appreciate that. He gets a cruise missile. Holy shit. Thank you, guys. Honestly. Adding another to the pile in a spot where he is impossible to weed out. Here you go, brother. Thanks for getting my boy Dash here ring. Bro, if anyone deserves a ring, that it's him, bro. He's worked so hard and changed the way he plays, specifically for the team. And he's been wanting that for a long time. So I'm, I'm super happy, like especially for him. I think he he needed that one the most, in my opinion. He's not making the typical moves. They're waiting oh, for everybody to snap. You go too slow in Caesar Skies. Picks you apart a three spree as P3 has been perfect for New York. Three spree, four skies, and less than 30 seconds to go here on the hard point. Shotzi, he and Dashi now fight forward through the archway. Did, what did NYSL upstairs, do wrong? I mean, I don't even think they did wrong, anything Dashi too wrong. Like, Hydra dude, we just played really, really well. So and honestly, against them, we've just always had their number on man. Like, uh, I think they're a like a really good team. They obviously, against every other team, they were doing really well. But against us, we just, uh, I, I don't know, we just have their number. It's sometimes just a matchup thing. I don't know. I think those guys are still good. Do you think it's going to be hard to relock in for ESWC? Jesus, bro. Excuse all the voice crack. My voice is completely gone. Uh, relock in for ESWC? I mean, maybe, uh, again, like, it's still an insane paycheck. So we're still going to be going hard for it, but... Honestly, like for everyone, like COD Champs was that that one you wanted to win. You know, I think that was for basically everyone. I don't think I don't think anyone has a different point of view on that. They're just gonna fall behind on this one. Hydra pushed out into the depths for some spawn kills, and there's no one from Optic that can cross. And again, a hill that has been dominant for New York. They do. Do you think Kenny's comms are crucial for this roster to succeed? 100%. His comms in game and out of game are essential. Like, guys, I, I can't give enough more praise for, for Ken. Dude. Like, yeah, again, he might drop a point nine, but his point nine might as well be a one point one, dude. Because of what else he's able to do for, for us. They haven't identified Kismet, but you see the arrows turning. Heads up in the comms. They have an idea, but they still have to strike. They haven't seen him in the feed for a while, so now you have to look back. Why do you think the team struggles on the P2 to P3 rotations and holds on Karachi? That's the one thing I noticed. Uh, I think it it has to do with uh, the map in general. Like, I think for everyone, P2 to P3, that chain is insane, but it's hard in the moment to determine. Like, let's say if you're spawning in the back here. Oh, let me bring out my pen, dude. Let's bring out pen J Nassim. One second. Yeah, the voice is gone, guys. Uh, I, I wasn't even going to stream, but I felt like I needed to because I might be going home this week, so I figured I have to give you guys at least a, a stream or two. Where's my, where's my epic pen? Come on, come on. Also, why is my Spotify not working? Spotify can't play this right now. You have the, you have the file on your computer. You can import it. What? What does that even mean? What the fuck does it even mean? I'm just playing it on the web web player. Or like my app. One second chat. Hey Scout Season, I appreciate the sub. Kuz as, as well, thank you for the sub. <laughs> How was your reaction back there? Bro. Okay. Dude, my voice is gone, dude. Alright. By the way. This was, okay, this is the stage. Bro, we had to walk every single time, like every coach, we were in a dugout like over here. So we, every map, we had to walk all the way up to the stage and back. Bro, we'd miss the first like 10 points and a hard point. We'd miss the break off and the first like 10 points scored. Trying to get to the back to watch the thing. That was the only checkout thing. 
but we could basically for us at least it was good because we could tell based on the crowd like if we won the break off or not because of like they would be screaming or whatever but for other teams obviously you honestly you honestly just don't know jb can we also watch the vetoes video break it down for us please yeah we, we do that uh wait what was i talking about before oh the p2 to p3 so i was saying like if you're if you're spawning out over here it's a choice that you have to make like so this is p3 this is p2 it's a choice that you have to make are you going to hit through old and give up the the risk of losing the rotation so that you can have a you know the scrap time of this p2 and then have a good break into like this red side or are you going to fully rotate and have the possibility of you know getting those spawns but also if you don't get the spawns you're completely fucked you know what i'm saying like if you don't if you die over here you're completely fucked because now you're spawning here you didn't get the old time now they're still over here and they can like force you to whatever side that they kind of want and have pushed out positioning so it's, it's really hard to honestly for any team usually with the p2 to p3 chain that's just one of the bigger chains in in cod like or in like uh hard point right now you know what i mean Twisted joke, appreciate the sub, React, uh, Sharb, Majestic, GMAC, Oscar, appreciate all for the subs, man. Can you hear the boys comms while they're playing? Yeah. We can hear the comms. They are taking too much time. The comms were, the comms were good. What's up, Brent? Don't die, you're gonna give him a cruise. He just needs it. One gun fight to win, and his teammates can't take it. What changed for Pred from last match to champs? Dude, I don't know, dude. He just started, he just started fucking banging, and he's, he's just frying now. I just hope, like, dude, I know, I knew, like, me and Damon knew his potential with that type of shit. Like, if he played that way, and he played that way, and we're like, he just has to play that way, that way every time. He has to like if he plays with that confidence, he could play like that every time. And he obviously he feeds off the crowd as well. Major four, we didn't have the crowd, so I think that has obviously something to do with it. But yeah, most nervous moment at champs, dude. I was nervous the whole fucking time during the the LAT match, dude. Honestly, I think that LAT match was, I mean, that was that was a hard match. Props to LAT. I was telling uh, Dan, like J Cap and and Mud Dog last night, but I was like, dude, you guys for for a rebuild team to get top four like that and look scary and hard point was very very promising in my opinion. Like that that was like, dude, you guys have something going there because you guys like they were just like kind of scraps that they were just trying to build throughout the year and they finally let it click and. They, they looked really good, honestly. Scrantonicity, appreciate the resub. Thank you, man. A battle of patience as well. Hydra in the corner. Bites, but Funniest Hydra, moment for me, 100% when Ant uh, got the, the two kills front DVD and, like, and bottom blue on Skies, and he just stands up and goes... You, you're dog shit or something like that and i'm like bro that was fucking comedy because it's dude it's it's ant guys like ant is the nicest person or, or player you'll ever meet and for him to do some shit like that i was like we were crying in the back because like we know he can get hype but he was like you're our dog shit he just pointed at him i was bro we were crying in the back a perfect P1 break. Brotherly love there as the crew secured. The first to shoot, though, it's going to be Sib. Here we go. Bye bye, Kenny. While the smoke clears, let's go for a quick listening. With Actually, you know what, what I want to do? I want to do the, the veto thing. Because someone will ask, ask that. Let me, let me pull that up real quick. Didn't Cod, Cod League like, tweet it out, right? Let me see. Together. I hope that you both have reviewed the best of nine that yep. we set. Yep. We're going to do this slow and steady. We're also going to verify everything at the end and make sure that we're locked in with our appropriate choices. Yep. Texas, you are coming from winner's bracket. Team A. You are picking Team A. So we obviously go Team A because you're coming from winner's bracket. There's no point 
not picking team A, that's literally the advantage. All right. that means Texas so off. we have first hard point veto. Obviously, we were going to veto Vista versus New York. We weren't playing Vista so like all weekend, and Vista. New York Vista. is a good Vista team. Six star. They veto six star because obviously we're a good six star team. I mean, six star. This six star is out. honestly before the match, like basically last night, or sorry, the previous night, we already knew what the map set order was basically going to be. So we picked Karachi map one because we had just beaten them on it. And honestly, like even in scrims, Karachi against them, we always like had their number. So we knew that was going to be map one if they vetoed uh, six star, which they were, we expected them to do. The thing with a lot of people were like, oh, why didn't you just pick sub base map one? You guys love sub base. Again, uh, it, the spawns changed a little bit. We lost it those two times and we started getting more comfortable on Karachi. Plus the fact uh, with with game one here, we get bad side. So we didn't want to start off on a bad side sub base. When we know we can guarantee good side sub base, either map four or map eight. So that was the plan for that because if map four, we get Rio. Oh shit. Map four, we get Rio and we're going to get good side for that. And then the decider sub base, we get... Uh, uh, it's a good side for that too. So we were just like, oh, let's just get good side sub base. So that's what we did for that. Um, yeah. All right. That means Texas kick us off with a ban for hardpoint. Vista. Vista is out. Six star. Six star. Six star is out. Texas gets to pick for map one. Karachi. Karachi P2. is on map one. P2 side for Karachi is defenders. Rio. Rio will be our map four. Uh, side choice for Rio. P3. P3 side, that is defenders also. Our remaining map is sub base. And Texas, you have the side choice for sub base. We'll take P2, P4 side. That is defenders. So then, yeah, we lock in, we lock in good side sub base. High rise. High rise is out. So obviously, um, we, we always thought New York was a good, like a really good high rise search team. Like obviously they were losing it recently, but for us, like after we, we beat LAG on it and it looked pretty decent, but then we lost to LAT and we just thought it was a little bit more RNG as an S and D map compared to the other ones at the moment. So we were like, let's just not even have to worry about it. Um, Karachi. yeah, we just didn't want to have to play Karachi it. Is a pick. Correct. All right. <laughs> so. They don't get an S and D veto, so this is a map two pick for them. They get Karachi, Karachi search, and Karachi search for us. It was one of the one one of the maps that we worked like super hard on because we knew like uh, we kept playing it and playing it. We were getting round eleven losses, whatever. What was it? Four and a five in a row that we lost, something like that. But we knew we were still like decent at it and good at it. Uh, but we just we had like different strats that we wanted to do, and we game plan for New York, so we knew it was going to be map two. Um, honestly, the round 10 and round 11 were fucking so key f for how we played this. Texas attacker and Karachi. we just, I mean, Ant made some plays, they, they all made some plays, and we just played it really well. That map 2 was the difference maker for me. Once we won that map 2, that was like a momentum sh uh, shift for us, I think. Hey, Yuxi, appreciate the, the 10 gifted. Thank you, my guy. I appreciate that so much. Thank you guys all for the congrats too. For map five, please. Invasion. Invasion. So, and then map five, we have the choice between Invasion or Rio. And obviously, or sorry, it was Invasion, Six Star or Rio. And we had just beaten them on Invasion. We're comfortable on Invasion. There was, we obviously wanted to put that uh, like more ahead in the series, if that makes sense. Attack on map five. Attack. <laughs> six Star for map seven. Six Star is our map seven. They pick Six Star because they, you know, beat us on it before even though honestly i thought we were playing that six star really well there was just some lapses that we had when we were up five three but honestly I, I thought we were playing the six star like pretty well like we were actually retaking sites for once and shit so like we were still confident in six star going into that if we had to go to it that would have been i guess the next map right if we didn't win the invasion control and then both of our teams were basically auto-vetoing Rio search for a while. 
So that was just gonna be map nine. So map nine would have just been a fucking Rio SD bang out against two teams that don't really play it too much in matches. Offense for that. Our remaining map is Rio. Rio. For map nine and Texas. Wouldn't that be fucking hilarious? Dude, Troy makes a joy, joke because like none of us play it, so we were just like, dude, if it goes map nine, it's just a fucking Rio real bang out. Defense. Defense on that. Just to see. Gentlemen, now we're moving to control. Texas your veto. High rise. High rise is out. So obviously, we were reading high rise control a lot. New York is a good high rise control team. We knew that we were going to play Invasion in Karachi the entire time. And honestly, the, the one thing that was surprising to me in the video, the vetoes was that they picked Karachi as the map three instead of Invasion. So they had that at first, even though they had vetoed it against us in the previous series, but I guess it's because they, they lost to us on Invasion before. So they wanted to try out something new. And honestly, they, they came out running with the, the Karachi control. So Karachi. Um, Karachi they, they play that, that well. Texas, your side. Offense, right? Uh, yeah. Attack. Attack. And then map six oh, no, is uh, invasion. 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 Defense. And New York, you get to pick this side. Defense. 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 Who would have guessed? I need a copy. So that was the vetoes. Uh, kind of like already knew what it was going to be. The only thing, honestly, that was surprising to me was I thought it was going to be invasion control first, but I guess that makes sense because they had just lost it to us. So they... Figured uh, stack the Karachi control first and then have the invasion control later. Did you see the EWC groups yet? No, I didn't. Are you going to go over the SD? Yeah, we'll watch everything. I'm not going to break down everything like too much. Like, honestly, it's, it's weird because it's like we still have EWC. So I wanted to do some more breakdown stuff and give stuff away, but. I feel like I'm gonna have to wait until after EWC to do that type of stuff. Usually I would after champs, you know. Hey, Walzer, appreciate the resub. Press on W, boys looking real, so pumped for Brandon. Dude, uh, same. When do scrims for EWC start? Probably somewhere be around the beginning of August. I know some teams are starting the second, some are starting the fourth. So probably somewhere around then. Willu, appreciate the sub, uh, the resub too. Wait, does anyone actually have the EWC groups? Is that like announced yet already? I don't see. I, I don't see it anywhere. Where is EWC played in Saudi Arabia? Was there a change in scrims the reason why you guys started playing Karachi again? I know that was guys auto veto for a little. Yeah. We just got more comfortable on it. That's why we kept picking a map one. People were like, oh, why are you picking Karachi map one? It's just, I mean, dude, we were just so much more comfortable on it. At what point did you realize, yeah, we ain't losing this shit? Honestly, it took me till the invasion search. When we, once we won the invasion search, I was like, okay, we're winning this. But I was like, Dude, it was at any moment before that where it was like, dude, we could lose a map and, you know, New York can come back. Like, New York's a good team. But once we were on the search, I had the feeling that we were winning. Surprised you guys didn't pick Subbase first map? That's what I was talking about before. So, Subbase, again, changed a little bit mid season. Uh, we liked our Karachi and we would have had to start bad side Subbase if we picked a map one. So, we figured we might as well delay it later on in the series and get good side for it. Did you see any new spots like the wall bangs from Joe on Rio that you didn't know before? Yeah, the Joe Rio wall bang and the, the Caesar wall bang from back Karachi. We had a like game plan what we were going to do on Karachi if we went B because of this spot, literally. I think it's pretty cheese. Like I, I get the, like, the work that needs to be put in to find something like that. But, dude, shooting through an entire building like this is insane. But you kind of have to game plan for it, and that's what we did, so. Um, yeah. They did in round 11, you're right, yeah. 
Will the boys be streaming scrims going to EWC? I don't know. I haven't, we haven't really talked about it. Okay, go some water, bro. I am, I'm literally trying to drink this shit right now. Your boy is losing his voice. Those type of Ken comms get me so hyped. Congrats guys. Hey, I appreciate it. Appreciate all the congrats guys. Thank you. Champ's final appearance and the comms are immaculate. Yeah, he has been the main Preakers, thank you for the sub. And Reach, thank you for the sub with Prime as well. Well, it looks like the time gonna go to the New York subliners. Dashi picked apart as well. But a 10 point game on Can we also watch the Vito's video, break it down for us? Yeah, we actually just watched it. So if you haven't seen already, honestly, I'm gonna post probably this entire stream to YouTube or something. So, or at least post the bottom. So you'll be able to see it later on. New York forced the lead forward. A bad nade just forces Kenny out for the meantime, but you're going to think about the streak potentially wide open. Are you and Damon a little duo while you watch? Bounces yeah, I guess so. I mean, we're watching together here in the comments. So. Double those arrows have to turn. You have three arrows looking for Shati. He's out of dodge while his teammates are collecting the time, and they stun him on the flank, so they know where he's here, but that doesn't... JP, who had the headset for each between you and DB4? Uh, we had a... a sp this I guess it was a special headset this time where it was it was it was you could turn it up so loud that we just put it on the table next to us and we could both hear it. So it's actually we didn't even need someone on the headset. It was just so loud on the headset that we could both hear it. Who warmed you guys up? Uh, when for the championship match? No one. Championship match? No one gets a warm up because no one's there. No one else is there other than the two teams. Over the top, that's a big set. Sid though from top third. Beautiful shots onto Shotzi. Kenny forces him back and it's an open field. Can you hear all the comms? Yeah. Kismet won a massive gunfight against Dashi over towards the junkyard. So Optic might have had the edge on that. Why not get warmed kill, up with challenger they teams? They, they can't warm us up. They're not on CDL accounts. Here's Pred. The earlier cruise he earned to break down the junkyard. What can I And they don't have like the setups that we have in our PPAs. Shotzi and Dashi now front forward. What coverage from Cell, a two piece. And Kenny finally picks up the pinch. It's an open hard. Were the comms crazier than the major three grand finals? Um. I don't know. They were, they were about the same. Honestly. Nothing will ever touch. I mean, dude. Nothing will ever touch the fucking. The Rio major three finals. Those comp because we were just like absolute shitting in the map to win. It was a little bit different because it's it's the control, the invasion control. It's not it's not the same as hard point where you're like up 150 points or whatever. So I don't think. Yeah, dude, guys, the voice cracks are gonna be here by by the way. The way too much screaming and talking this this weekend, and your your boy does that. All the challenger teams are gone by grand finals also no except for the top two. Yeah, exactly. And also, they play at like 11 o'clock in the morning, so that would mean that would mean that we would have to actually no, we couldn't even we couldn't even scrim them because our our PPAs didn't even open until 10 o'clock. So there was no way we were going to be able to scrim. Hey, C4 Hot Boy, appreciate the subs. Appreciate the five gifted. Are they releasing a comms video for champs? Yes, sir. At, at, at some point, for sure. At some point. Need some hot honey and tea, straight up. Honestly, I probably shouldn't even be streaming and talking this much, but I felt like I, I had to do at least one watching the finals for you guys. I'm gonna have to rest two. I'm gonna have to rest my voice for fucking a week. Who did you guys scrim before grand finals? No one. But guys, uh, around like it's the Saturday and Sunday, you don't really get warm up scrims. Secured lead in their hands as hey, well. what's up, Joey? You will not win it here, but my God, you'll get close. I mean, you might as well go ahead because of the timing of the matches and because of not many people left in the tournament. You just don't really get it anymore. This P5 to P1 was so crucial. Or this, this, sorry, this P1 rotation. Ken picking this guy up low fountain and seeing this other guy was perfect. 
Subline has a lovely amount of control. You got that top power position. You have P1. Now you're so keeping everything secure. Hey, BB no Gun, appreciate the sub. You and Pi both. I'm sure AG lost his voice too. My voice is is a little bit there, but you can you can tell with the voice crack shit. My voice usually usually cracks. Don't get me wrong, but not this much. This is like, bro. It's almost every other sentence. It's straight up. Did you guys scrim all the teams going to champs? No. So we scrimmed the first the first day of scrims. We scrimmed like LAT and uh, or we we did still scrim LAT because they were on the same type of bracket, but we still had two weeks of scrims. And then after that first day, it was strictly Phase, Miami, Seattle, and New York. And we played, dude. We played Seattle a fuck ton. I feel like almost it, it felt almost like every day we were playing Seattle, and they looked good. I'm honestly surprised they didn't uh, they didn't do better in the in this tournament because they I thought they looked really good in hardpoint at least like guys they're dude Seattle's Seattle's Vista bro they looked final they look final on this shit you know what reminds me of Seattle this that Seattle team when we were screaming reminded me of our optic team from last year with Dan and Kyler. In hard point. That's what they reminded me of. They dude, these guys were breaking everything. But it was honestly good scrims. It was it was FaZe, uh, Miami, New York, and Seattle were our four scrim partners. So every day we would switch. It was either a day with um who who did we have? It was either a day with uh I think it was wait, I have to check. I have to go back in the schedule. I'm pretty sure it was like we played uh, New York, Miami, and then Atlanta, Seattle uh, every other day. It was something like that. Damn, do you guys anticipate a phase downfall this champs? Oh, no, for sure not. I mean, I'd, no one expected them to get top six, honestly. Nate's up. Great of the phase looking foreign scrims too? No, I mean, no, we, had, we had close scrims with them. It wasn't... They didn't look that poor in hard point. But they they always look in the scrims. Now you try to get towards new P2 locked and loaded. Fred, middle of map. You have a lot of work to do. You need one more break for the subline. And I, I don't think I don't think New York wanted to play us in search, but it actually kind of went into our benefit because we changed a lot of our search stuff. So it actually worked out, I think, for that. Because our like Seattle was like our main search screen partner. There it is. Into the point. Final few. Dashi on the back. What do you think people are calling for them to make a change? I mean, I, again, I don't. I've always said this about team change stuff. I don't know what it's like in the camp, so there's no reason for me to give my opinion on it. Because like, there is so much that people don't know about teams when they're not a part of the team and not there every day. You know what I mean? So there's no point for me to speculate. I don't know what the fuck's going on, there. or what the fuck's going on there. Do you think the 6-5 S&D broke New York? I don't think it broke them, but I think it gave us some much needed energy. Or not, not much needed energy, but much needed like momentum. Like that, that map was so big for us, I think. <clears throat> Slim Reaper, appreciate the sub of Prime. What point did you know you were winning this? For me, I don't know for the players, but for me, after we won the invasion search, when we were up 4 1, I had a pretty good feeling we were winning. But other than that, I was like, you know, this could, this year could change its head with one map for them. All things you have to be cautious and careful. The B hit commences, middle of the map control. Subliners have already taken it. Hydra leading that charge. We'll try to keep an eye on it alongside our wonderful observing team to catch all these secrets as they unfold in real time. Kismet managing to catch a pred. 
That's a massive first blood as well. You're in absolutely no rush. That is the smoke grenade down. The stun's going to connect on Kismet, but there is not going to be any. Did you drop some cold shit on them, like in Major Three? Well in nah, I didn't. I didn't say any cold shit. Maybe that was on me, but. Momentum. I didn't want to jinx anything, honestly. I just didn't want to jinx anything. I don't know if anyone managed to grab a trophy. He's got a couple of points, couple of kills. Hydra finishing up this one. What a turn on the dashy. Perfect weapon. Dude, someone said, why did you triple mid break off on uh, game two of round 11? This is so funny because in the comms, I think it was Brandon that was like trying to call it off because he's like, dude, you need to get that trophy out. Because I, I forget who had the trophy that round. Maybe it was Ant that had the trophy. But he, he, was, he didn't get it out quick enough. It was fine because we had the trophy, but we, I guess he didn't get it out quick enough. And it fucked us over. But it was so funny because they were hesitant about it. They were, because, or I think it was Brandon, Brandon that was hesitant. He was like, yeah, yeah, like, make sure you got that trophy. Like, they were going to throw these nades. Like, and we just ended up going with it. And yeah. The job, the rival it was, it was <laughs> not great at the start, but nice, easy Ant pulled out the fucking insane play. A couple players on Optic not able to shoot their guns and a first blood. That was a blink <clears> and is this VOD going to stay up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll post the VOD. Right. After Optic, this, after this stream, for sure. How they're going to approach this attack. We know the wall bang spots that Scott <coughs> may or may Bro, my not throat use. fucking hurts. I'm hoping right I'm not, not coming down with a sickness of two. Nades, but you have to be creative playing against this team. Got Sid bottom green. Sky's the overseer. No flanks rolling through just yet. All How's the throat? It's not, not great. I'm not going to lie. Out the setup. Voice has started to get lost and... New York. Yeah. Deep on the defense. Will you guys stream scrims? I, I have no idea. And we haven't Shotzi talked about it yet. Spot as well. so Boston announced their roster, really? Who are, they, who are they playing with? Snoopy, Purge, Awakening, Kamini. Or Kami. So they got three three guys from the, the Challengers. Uh, what's called? Challengers Finals, I guess. You also get an IV trip treatment. Straight up, I might have to. Optic, this is a beautiful situation. Yeah, I was gonna say Prolude is the odd seconds. one out there, right? Which Challenger's team do you think Overwatch is the most promising? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I always, dude, like Paul ended up winning that tournament. I think Paul. I always thought Paul was a good player. He got kind of bad situations, like with our New York team. I mean, we still did pretty well with him too, but a weird New York situation, a weird London situation for him. He was with 04 uh, before 04 got picked up, and they were doing like decently well in the Challenger stuff. Was it cold in the venue because you had a big puffer on it? I would have been sweating. It actually, it was a, it was like a puffer, but it was more of like a windbreaker, so it was, it was pretty light. It's not. It's not like it was heavy. Like that of the bomb being planted uncontested and then doubling up over towards the bridge. Not just Shotzi in that environment, but Kenny as well. You love the trigger discipline coming out from Shotzi, letting Kenny pick it up, and even though he gets traded, subliners unaware a second player would be waiting in the wings. Retake not on point. Two offensive rounds. How icy was Bruce this weekend? Pretty icy. First to six, He's always icy. Story for the folks who are new at home. I'm going to take turns attacking and defending these sites. This time round, New York on offense. Trophy's out, middle of the map dominated. Hydra. I was mad about this round. Because uh, this Osprey, short to top ladder, top or top plat play fucked us over so bad in the Minnesota match versus, or versus Minnesota with the Lin shit, where he would just constantly do it. Ken even calls out here that they could be up short because they sun top plat. Because uh, Brandon knows they stun top plat, but Ken is like, bro, if they stun you top plat, they could be up short. Like, I don't have the, I'm, I'm not looking at it. And it should just be on Brandon to know that this guy can just climb the ladder and be up here. Already, the thorn in your side, he's going straight for it. It's going to be dashy just above him. It was a good, it was a good call out by Ken, but hey, Brandon didn't like recognize it in the moment, I guess. How does he do it? Well, that's the middle of the map, full of subliners players for now. Shotzi, wrong part of town, my friend. Fred can't get away with his life. And there's another one from the subliners. That is absolute domination. That's aggression as well. Honestly, this is my first time watching Zero all this shit wasted. back. I'm not going to lie. Soaring I didn't watch this shit back map. yesterday. You had dash. You had information. Awesome. Some here on Karachi, you get a decent amount of love. And look at this stack from subliners on defense. Three players over towards B. <laughs> Bombs not there. Shotzi. 
Roaming towards this A site. Kismet for the moment, the lone defender. Creak of the door. Nobody home. Kismet on the close corner, though. Optic shoulder to shoulder. Here comes Kiz. One. The snap, good, but not enough. The bomb recovered. You might be able to plumb. And in the meantime, Prey was the island player. What ha match had you the most he nervous? Hunted down by his former teammates. Oof. Give you a 3v2. Um, Can he bomb down? And oh. he's able to make the jump. They saw him cross the red. He's like a ghost. He's out towards bus. Kenny, I mean, the LAT, the first, the first New York match and the LAT match were kind of on the point. same level. Because we had a reverse sweep for the LAT one, honestly. All down a sip. Maybe the LAT just because we were down there too. It's shenanigans from Kenny. The sneaky move to cross the bomb site. Leaves New York guessing and finds that kill. And a mishap with the smoke as well. Not How on earth did they win this round? Dude, I have zero clue. He's able to make the jump. This is a great play uh, by Brandon to like go up top down. They know this guy uh, got over to here. He kills him and then Ken and Brandon just play as well. Two spotted. Kenny defends. All down a sip. Hey JK, appreciate the, the sub, the tier one. Did you get your optic chain yet? We did. We got the optic chain and we got the ring. So a big. Big weekend for jewelry this this week weekend for me and I guess AG Ken as well, but he already had a ring. You got the ring already? Nah. I think it takes a little bit. I think Ken was saying he didn't get his Vanguard ring until like major two of the next year or some shit. So it might be a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if that was on LAT or on CDL or what. Over Optic Texas in search and hey, Jarcilla, appreciate the, right the sub. Square. Thank you, man. For the moment. And subliners, a full stack over towards Did you say, uh, expect LAT to make such a good run at champs? Honestly, no, but they were, it was so typical for them. Again, like I was talking about before, they're kind of like a rebuild team of uh, some scraps. No to get top to four and actually down. play the way they did, they were they were playing hardpoint really well. And look what they do. Pred's actually using that smoke so he can cross out shots. He's able to get up top and he gets the first blood. And now Pred lying in wait. It's Ray G with the follow-up. Wait for it. Sip finds one. Trying to pull it back. 3v2. Optic with the manpower. Former teammates right Imagine here. it's hard to lock my hand after champs. I mean, it's still a big paycheck. So at least for the player. But again, it, it is weird because it's like, this was what we were playing for. Like, we were playing for that game. So this is, it's kind of just like an extra icing on the cake for me at least, and probably for the players too. But this is, uh, everyone's, everyone's trying to get the ring, you know? They were supposed to be scrimming really well. I mean, we were scrimming pretty well. What are you planning to do with the money? I gotta get a car down here, so that's it'll probably help with that. I get a, like a small percentage, so. New York Subliner is still not electing to use that wall bang spot, but now Kenny, the island player, over towards A. If Kismet ever bites on the flank, might get more than he can chew. I don't know, man. We've seen kids in these moments. This ring two, JP. No, I, I never won a ring before. This is my first one. Optic back on up. You've got Kenny providing the intel over by eight. Keep in mind, Hydra's gonna. I was never even close, dude. I, I would, like, I had pretty decent placings with teams, but always at champs. We'd always get like top six and stuff. Honestly. Hydra now getting the move as well. You think the winner's advantage is enough? Uh. Here we go. Probably. Are we gonna take the bait? Dashy, maybe not. It's just I, I get it, like. I get it from the CDL perspective where it's like, dude, we don't want a reset having to affect our viewership like that. And kind of like every esport is kind of molded into that where it's just a one grand finals match at this point. So I like best of nine better than, you know, best of seven, at least. So it's whatever. You were part of the NMSL staff when Krim was there, right? Yeah. Sibilance with a two. There are not many players in the league that can shoot like Sid. How much pass was put into the series? Snapping. I mean, a, a lot. Spot <laughs> you never want to like go into the match being like, oh, we could have prepared a little bit extra or I didn't spend enough time doing X, Y, Z. You know what I mean? You don't want to have to live with that there regret. Not many That's what it usually is for like champs. Like if you lose champs, time. and obviously this is my first champs win, but... I've been a part of, what, four other champs now? 
and we didn't win it's always like what could you have done extra or like what what more could you have done and it's always like a regret thing of like oh if i would have just did one extra little vod thing on this maybe it would have helped in this map or whatever so having it Absolute actually stone cold like the work payoff is awesome oh okay Leave him alone. Are you gonna get a call with AG? No, nah, I'll let him. I'll let him rock. Three, three. I mean, they dominated. The How do you feel getting in the interview after the win? I mean, it was cool. It was. I mean, now it's Kismet gonna be in the mix. It was cool to just speak my mind and get a get some words in. I didn't want to take it away from the players because they were the ones who actually won that shit, you know. Mandy's help lost his voice. Yeah, I, I lost my voice shit too. So. Will you check it? Will you check it in the right time? Are you gonna be checked? Everyone is just so close. They can smell it. There's the red dot starting to work out. Next moments let alone dashy they're getting shot out of the corners they're just soaring around now to me this round was annoying as fuck because or maybe it was the one later on but dude he just kept hitting our top fountain and it's like we didn't it kind of like we didn't react to it we were talking about mid mid uh mid game you know playing the fucking c2 spot to watch this shit but we didn't do it in the defense after it, and he just kept hitting it. And I was like, why aren't we adjusting it? This is literally the opening that they're getting every time, you know? Hey, Bryce, appreciate the sub. They're right next door. Will you check it? Will you check it in the right time? Are you going to be checked? Everyone is just so close. They can smell it. There's the red dot starting to work out. A lot of noise. Shotsy from down low. <clears throat> red backs him up. Man advantage optic, and that's bombed down as well. We had a clutch earlier. You guys watch LAT vs Ultra and Ultra vs NYS. Um, we didn't watch too much too much of LAT vs Ultra. We watched the Rio S and D just to get some ideas in case we had to play at Map Nine versus New York. Uh, but we watched the Ultra vs New York. Yeah. There was no really reason to watch anything else other than that Rio search for LAT Ultra because we weren't going to play either of them. And we were out to dinner when that match was going on. So like, we were watching on our phones and shit, but we weren't like taking it in like bot session. You know? Imagine coaches could take one timeout in S and D. Dude, it would be so beneficial. It would be so beneficial if we could take a timeout. There's the defuse. Did you know of the Rio or Karachi wallbangs before you saw them being used? No. Those were new to us. But we knew going into the Karachi map 2 that we were going to have to play around it. Because we knew they were going to try that shit. That's the 3v2 clutch as well. In a game is neck and neck in this so far. Did Kenny throw that nade or Ant? Uh, no, it was Ant. Ant the nade. There was no way Ken was going to throw that nade from there. Did you guys have spots you didn't end up using? Um. Yeah, but I don't know if they, some of the spots were just so situational that we might not even be able to use it even in like an EWC. Scoreline, but Hydra currently has four first blood, so he is on a record set. Do you ever have veto advantage or start the best of nine one zero? Well. It, what are you starting? Best 9 1 with what? Zero beta advantage? Like, I don't know what you mean by. So you're getting. Uh, do you mean you're at a veto disadvantage if you're uh, 1 0? Or, or what? Because I think the veto advantage is fine. But it depends on how the vetoes go for if you're up 1 0. If, you, if, it's, if it's still like a slight advantage, then maybe the 1 0. But, it is no good. but if you're at like a full disadvantage, but you're up 1 0, then. then the record for first like vetoes would be normal, but it's hard because you, six. you can't really have normal away. vetoes with best in line, no? Rounds to make it happen. Superstars make the big moments, the big plays. You think you guys had more in the right tank? Now, in terms of what? I mean, th those guys were prepared to go all nine maps. I'm surprised we won it that quick, but our guys were ready to go nine maps just in case. To a second back -to -back world championship. I mean, this search. Six minutes and four Did you always expect it to be NYSL when you beat them back in the uh, grand finals? 
Oh, um, in winners finals, after we beat them, I'm, I was like pretty sure we were gonna play them again. I was almost like, so I was pretty far, positive we were gonna play them again. I'm not gonna lie. And it's leading the charge again. I thought it was either gonna be them or possibly LAT, but I, I thought New York was gonna be really going face. Up top ladder. Constant moves he is making. Nah, this is the, this is the round where I got pissed at it, because he had done it so many times, and we still weren't picking up on it. And we didn't go to C2 to, to watch this shit. Or we just, we didn't, or we didn't watch it at all or, or counter it at some point. Like Ant's here, or Ant's gonna come up here, but obviously Paco's in a dirty corner. And there's no way for Ant to, to like know he's there already, but. It was like the only opening that kept getting abused versus us. And it was a 4-4 round, so that was, that was annoying. And it may fall into his lap as every other kill has. Nobody does it better. Another highlight from the Phenom. One of the best plays of the year. How emotional was Brandon when he got backstage? Oh, I mean, not that emotional. I think the most emotional that he was was when uh, when he was on stage. Like when I was with him, I think he was super emotional. But he was like after after we like lifted the trophy and stuff, he wasn't wasn't that much. Obviously, he was still super happy. And turned, destroyed. And the last man in, Dashi, did not think about snacks. And Optic are just suffering, completely unable to contain the middle of the map. You are opening so many different routes for Hydra to be taken. Six first bloods in the game. All right, this is the 5 4 round. This is a huge Optic, round. This side of the map. Paco has a cruise here. On. <laughs> However, getting past Sib, maybe a tougher task. Shotzi spotted. Once, the once they had Dante down here and he saw Ant up top AC, I the thought we lost it. That I was like, takes. how the fuck well, do we break got this? New York you know? Shut it down. We'll see if the crew's coming to play in a moment. This is map point for the New York Subliners to tie it all up. But it was so important for us that they had double stacked A. Because let's say well, this guy was mid, no and you know, yet. Ant's probably dead Until if he was playing like, you know, top fire or something, or point. even low fountain. So much but they double stacked A in this specific round. And now Shotzi attempting to make the play. He's pierced the middle of the map. And he, it's because they were double stacking, he gets through to mid, and because they have no mid control, he just climbs up here. Wins a gunfight against Caesar. Fucking huge play. But it's like, what would have happened if they had just done like a default where they either, you know, triple stack B or they have one guy playing top fire or having the guy play low fountain and soloing A like most teams usually do. But because we were going A a little bit more, they double stack it. Bridge, Hydra picks up what he couldn't. I think Kenny may have spotted that player out. He definitely knows Sib is there now. A hey, heister and crisis thank you guys for the the sub with prime appreciate it hydra on a seven spree working with kismet on the flank there it is the ars that need to clutch up again a 2v2 it's a 2v3 and it goes and then obviously he cruises here it's gonna be a free bomb plant hydra on a like if he cruised just a little bit earlier while ken was planning like if he doesn't get that plan off we probably lose the round but because brandon is able to get the top fountain from top third to, to not die for this streak, and because Ken's able to get under here, just, now it's just a 2v2. To in a position. You have the intel. Who is Kismet going to try to isolate? It's Kenny on the bridge. Another late yeah, he took a little bit too long with the crews, probably. No connect. He's looking for him. Nobody's giving him anything just yet. 25 seconds. Dashy spied out. Kiz with the smoke coverage. That uh, doesn't quite obfuscate the window from top. You might be able to get in there. You're hey, Voorhees, appreciate the sub with Prime. The go button. Hydra, soar at your opponent. He's right in Which front map of you. do you feel like the Shut most important to win? Dashi. Map one or map four after it was 2 1? I thought map one was huge. I thought map one was huge, but I think the map two was the biggest. Because if, if they win map two, it's 1 1. And then let's say they go into the crash control and win it. Now they're going to a real map where they're. Like, obviously, their comfort pick going up 2 1. So, you know, obviously, those first two maps, but I think maybe the, the second one a little bit more. Both of them were big. Round 11. Round 11. So, to break this down, there was a kind of like, I don't want to say a disagreement, but kind of a hesitancy, at least from Brandon, where he's just like, yeah, you guys better make sure that you get this trophy down because they're going to try and nade mid because these guys wanted to stack mid. I forget who was, call, who was calling it. I think Ken was like, bro, let's hit, hit, hit mid here. And Brandon's just like, I, I don't have it. Like, I'm going to be over here. You guys have to, you have to throw this trophy quick. And I guess the trophy just wasn't there in time. 
11. This is overtime. Optic on attack. Let me see if I can slow it down. So like it, he he throws it, but it doesn't completely bloom. You know there is that timing, and Ken dies to it. And I'm thinking, holy fuck, we just had this this little minor disagreement right at the start of the round. We get blooded for it because of the thing that we knew was possibly going to happen. Because we know they fucking hit the, the mid nades. They're like one of the best nading, or probably the best nading team in search like that. And now we have to play an entire round 11, 3 v 4. So at that point, I was like, oh, fuck, dude. In map two in the but the plays like they make here like another ants play nade, is is just insane obviously Very he wants to take this timing no like to the top fountain Arthur so much like what Paco is doing against us game plan has all changed and you don't have to worry about the cruise missile anymore you'll see it here so we'll, we'll fast forward and goes over the top fountain Shots right to be the main play he's maker, trying to get info yeah. on who who's top dome if he sees anyone found in this position I think Kiz is on the other side. I actually thought he was just playing, you know, bottom short and he was on the other side of the wall. I didn't even know that he was vending until the gunfight happens. So, Ant doesn't see anything here. Hydra as well. side of the map. He goes to the top. He sees Skies. He shoots at Skies. So Skies knows that he's here and now he's trapped. He's trapped top fountain. Right now, That's why I was surprised that Kiz didn't run at him. I'm assuming Kiz didn't run at him because he didn't want to just like take a one-on-one -on -one gunfight, but you know, Ant is trapped up you know here the technically. Zone. They're just waiting for him to crawl out though. Kizmit's got the door covered. And then if he goes Ant's like, you know, I'll smoke for you because because AG has to plant here and he knows that they could be doing this wallbang spot over here. So he needs a smoke to plant because he has to plant in the open now because we know it's a wallbang spot. You know, it's a bomb site now that we can't just plant it on the safe side because of the wall bank and because we know that they do this. So we, and it's like, oh, I'm going to have to smoke for you. So he, you know, that's why he's, what's he's, he's doing here. He's jumping smoke to try and smoke it for AG so he can lay Shots the bomb. And, and then he just nades to... back over here, expecting this guy to be uh, going top dome and shifting towards the wall bank spot. So that's why he throws that nade. Find a kill. And then he just goes down the stairs. I guess kids doesn't see him or... or or moves just at the wrong time, and Ant wins the biggest one-on-one -on -one of the fucking seconds. tournament, probably. He escapes now, and as soon as he gets that bomb, and we know that they like to do this, this wallbang spot, we're like, just fucking wrap it, wrap it A. Because we got the pick towards the middle map, you know, Ant's still lurking over here towards Fountainside, and now we can wrap it towards the A site. This is big here, because we see Paco mid, Brandon sees him, and AG's already, like, on his high horse trying to work this kill with Brandon. So once he knows, he's, yo, he's P1, he's P1, he's going towards P3. AG picks up the kill. Now he can fully wrap to A. We can now cover his middle, because that, that's what Ant's going to do here. He actually jumped out the top, went towards mid-cut, towards P1. And now he can cut short for anyone trying to rotate. He gets a kill on Dante. Now it's a 3v1. Fucking perfect play call. I don't know how Ant did that shit, but he did it, and uh, we, we won the round off of it. It was, it was, that shit will go down as like one of the biggest rounds, like ever, honestly. How did Kiz not activate up and shooting there? I, I think he didn't want to to take the one-on-one -on -one and scam because Ant was probably like going back and forth as he was. But he is trapped up there. So I don't know if he, like at least just throw tax or something first and then chow it or something. I don't know. I'm, I was surprised he didn't chow it either because that's, that's what I, I thought he was on the other side of the door. I thought he was short like bottom ladder. That's why I, don't, I didn't think he like was going to chow it. But he was he was there on top of the vending all the time, so I'm, I'm I don't know. Hey, your local pl uh, plumber and Jonads, thank you guys for the subs. Appreciate it. Thank you guys. Big map, huge map. Uh, let's go to the garage control. We'll take turns they honestly played this well. 30 lives to do so. 
Let's find out who walks away with our first round. Optic on Congrats on the show, A, appreciate it. And already capturing A. Yeah, the Hydra's already behind you, but like it was in the S&D, almost no one is going to win the gunfight. So one flank rolling through. Optic on point everywhere else, and they pick up the flank as well. He said it was the defense that was good. The attack is working out magnificently already. Pred is about I study, appreciate the sub. Fire, Fire champs, bro. Right, Dude, first. Optic. agreed. You've wiped the board. It's all down a sim to do something miraculous. <clears> I think this hey, Fergie, appreciate it. Matter. You're going to fly over the dumpster into the hands of Watch with AG. Nah, I'm going to let him rock. We're just doing our, our through, own thing right now. Nice makes the and I, I, I don't know how long he's like going to be streaming for. I'll probably only be streaming for like maybe an hour more or so. I'll just finish this this grand finals. Because honestly, my voice is fucking so chalk. What time are you guys going to be playing the EWC matches? I actually have no idea. What are what are time what times are teams playing it in the other esports? They're kind of like in the morning for us, no? Sib was shooting in Sweden, yeah, he was. Dashi seemingly unkillable in the one-on-one -on -one gunfight. He's activated plot armor and it is working out. A zone on its way. B zone surely will be in trouble soon. Here comes New York <clears throat> counterattack. Good. Uh, Someone is right now. No one is actually here defending it. A couple players watching. My the throat cross, is becoming sore, and I'm actually Dashi. tweaking because He's I don't want to be sick. Cover. Did you want to set him up? Can he hear for the follow up? Can't believe the narrow away. now is nice. optic Just had a home field advantage. I mean, you knew that was going to be the case Capturing regardless a. of what happened One minute added to and especially if, because we won let's be honest here been so you guys listening on the comms yeah damon and i are listening zone. on the comms every match. To respond constantly and oh, nice oh, shots oh. rolling through once again sib and dashi two titans a battle oh. in the one-on-ones in skies headset works oh, by the b street that's where these park vehicles are fred doing what he can to Keep skies in but honestly, dude, the dude, the the crowd was fucking insane this weekend. I've never been to a COD event that loud. Maybe it had something to do with the the 360 degree like uh, uh, fans around the stage. But there was something different about that crowd. That, that was ten times louder than I've, every event I've ever been to, or any event I've ever been to. Sib has not been brought down. He finds another kill there. The three spree and the defensive B. Sib and Kismet picking things up. Hydra now the one having a slow game. But Kiz and Sib each for eight. Optic think they might be taking their time. Shotzi, he is going to be taking the route to the absolute death. Were other teams there other celebrating or out with y'all last night? Yeah, Optic I saw uh, some people. Like some of the phase guys. Six some of eight. LAT. Hydra makes it five. Uh, Optic on the attack. Who Ooh. else is he? In and out we go. One player sneaks through. Shots here on the wall. Sip defends it. Now Dashi you try to make remember. safe this side of the map. 30 seconds. Subliners with that. Oh, Scrap was there too. For and sure. no respawns remaining now from Optic Texas. Maybe an only extra tick over towards B was Whoa. collected. Subliners stabilize. Looking to get it done on the defensive end. Kenny and Fred. Last two players to fall. Final man, Fred. And this round is over. New York, you have held off one hell of a torrent. And the subliners strike first, Siri control. And that's fantastic communication coming out from the subliners as well, or just amazing, uh, you know, interference being picked up by Sib. Awareness on point, oh. he goes on the flank. Sib turns. I don't know about you guys, time. but the second one of his teammates spawns like, out, he knows someone's in your base. Every, ev I mean, I talked about this earlier, but every event should be center stage, but also every event, even if it's not center stage, let's say it's at a theater, it has to be this, you know, face to face thing. Halo does it. In order to create some more, you know, drama storylines, this, this needs to be what it is moving forward. It's so much better for like the trash talk and. New York just the trophies out you know to grow in like the league personalities and stuff and along it needs to be face to face like this hot, it's just so much better he's out with his life and Pred, too cheeky with the spot he's gonna fall as does everybody else on optic clean opening break. as a coach which CEO player has you working the most during VOD review prior to a game I can only imagine drawing up a game plan for Paco as a headache um I wouldn't even say it's more for players it's it's honestly for me I do the same Pretty much for every team, just because I don't want it to be different uh, for another team. Obviously, 
you know, first grand finals of champs, it's a lot more than a fucking random qualifier. But I'll still do the same type of thing, or general type, same type of thing for uh, everything. And it's not so much, I mean, SD, you can do game plans. The hard point stuff, it's more game plans in terms of some tendencies that they might do on specific rotations or holds or breaks or whatever. So it's not like, oh, we're going to shut down Paco in this hard point by by doing this, you know? That's just not a thing. You know, it, it's, it's like, okay, you know, he might like doing this on this rotation. You can try and, you know, stunt him there or whatever. They, they like doing this on, you know, this break or whatever. But it's not like, oh, we're game planning against Paco on Karachi hard point, you know? That's just not... It's not reasonable. It's not feasible at all. But this just it's it's time for, that's I mean, just Call of Duty. Flanks, Hydra and Kismet, both right now. I think just our playstyle in general in Hydra is just good against right the team. Like it's just like it's a good matchup for us, Texas. I guess. Because at land, I don't think they beat us on land, right? And the uh, the online matches, they beat us. We're all like pretty close. I'm pretty sure. The entire time on a four spree, and the capture's been so slow. He's had all the time to play with. Now two players over towards this zone subliner. How are we doing? Pretty good. Fucking one champs, but my throat is sore because your boy lost his voice. Now Kismet just trying to keep this play alive. Kismet. Actually, give me a second. I'm gonna refill my water real quick. I'll be right back. All right, back. Your throat is shocked out of the weekend too? Dude, I'm, I'm just afraid I'm coming down with like a sore throat and shit. And I don't really want that, so we'll see. When you all starting scrims for Esports World Cup? Uh, I think most teams are starting somewhere around the beginning of August. Like between August 1st and 4th, so I guess somewhere around then. The King, two more players for Subliner. They're just keeping distance. Optic right now are just being pushed so far away. They're getting the deep spawn, but Kenny with the deep shots. Ripping heads in a big two piece. His output this series has been absurd. Thought Major Three was now. felt nice, but damn, champs. Huge congrats. At what point did during the event did you think we were winning this? Honestly, I was saying this before, but not until after we won the invasion search against these guys when we were up 4 1. Because I, I didn't want to like jinx it. I didn't want to like feel like we were winning it before we actually won it. Because again, if we were to come back, got come back on. Lock it down. That's the opening. You've managed to take it would have been devastating for me. I would just be so down, you know. Hydra finds a big one. It is now a two-man sack on B. Soon to be three as well. This point is going to start to fly. Josh, he's got to find his way into the back now. Drek White kills one of them. No, Kiz brings him down. New York. Anyone there? No. Hydra finds two. Hydra is done. And that was 15 to six on the life count as well. These boys cranked up the heat on the attacking end and are picking them apart. I think Shotzi might have just. But Dashi said, "True, the boys get Three fucked up." 15. I mean, we had a good time. I was, I don't know if I I don't know if they stayed out longer than me. I was out to like probably an absolute domination. Like two two thirty. Karachi are about to be dethroned. But that was it for me. I'm. I'm a little bit older. I'm. I don't. Well. I don't usually do that shit. So. They have more than anyone I was in bed and then I didn't wake up until fucking 11:30, which is not me usually. I'm usually up at like 8, 8:30. SMGs are faltering right now in control. There's no answer just yet. Sib again. Powerful nade opener. Beautiful shots at range there from Skies. Can't get a third. This is the game that World War II optic team was on the scope watch party. I heard that. It's they're actually funny that, that that was the map, map people lost. Lost. So was down. when they, they were on the watch party. Oh, how quickly he gets taken down. The second you think Optic might This may sound better, but would it be cool to throw a newer map or a couple into the rotation the for EWC just for Simply minute. Fresh? Point, but now um, that is maybe, but it's couple. just so late in the season. Like, we only have, what, two and weeks left that I don't think anyone would be willing to do it. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe some feel some people feel differently. Maybe we'll go into a newer patch. I don't know if there was anything that changed on the newest patch, but I didn't even think about that. I would assume we would play on the champs patch, but we are technically past champs, and usually after a major champs or something, we would go to a new game or a new patch. Yeah, Dire Fan, I want to say thank you for the impact you made on the team ever since you joined. Definitely in the conversation with Goch. Hey, appreciate that, man. Uh, Goch, I still got a, way to, a ways to go, but glad we can get the chance. 
B is gone. One minute 50 to play. They have completely repositioned, but guys like Chauncey already behind you as well. Subliners, though, continue the heads up gameplay. They've identified the problem, but a problem he still is. Statistically, the A zone easier to capture here on Karachi. We'll see if that proves to be true. The shots he's desperately trying to sow some. Well, Factory's being here. attributed to Ant's performance on this map. I mean, sometimes you just have, don't have a good map. Like, he was fine all weekend. Sometimes the, so the timings that you're getting map. or the These things that you're doing are are just, just don't work sometimes. Let's say it, it's bound to happen on one map or something, you know? Pressure now still on the back line. Oh my goodness, it's a player below him. Shots, he heard it. Oh my god. Do you play any COD plus other games when you're not coaching? Um, honestly, I haven't really been playing COD at all. Uh, I'm hoping Black Ops 6 will rejuvenate that because, I don't know, Treyarch games always have my liking, but the other games, uh, not so much in terms of, like, actually playing it casually. But I'll play, like, League, I'll play TFT. Those are like the two main games that I'll play other than brutally difficult to be able not, to or other than just watching COD. Because I spend a lot of time just watching COD. Or watching other esports. How do you think the boys will adapt to BO6? On this game there will be, there will have been maps of four ARs where Treyarch more traditional 2-2 split. If anything, I think it will see the boys more. I mean, we, we have no idea. Technically, it could be 2-2 two -two split or it could be somewhat different, but I get, I, 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 at this point, all of these maps are basically 2-2 two -two split, but sub-base. And no one was really playing sub-base, so. Uh, I think later on in the year, like, like Karachi, a lot of teams were pulling out the AR because of the, the new buff that the MCW had, or the rebuff, or whatever you want to call it, back to four shot. But it's still basically a 2-2. Two -two. B first. Bruce knew a very important moment. He can't let those players get towards B. Shotzi picks it up straight away. Next wave of attack from the sub. What's the highest rank you got in league? But there are numbers here Fucking for the fight. Been in I'm the not. I'm not great at league. TFT have actually hit Emerald the last two sets that I played, or the only two sets I played. So I spent a little bit more time with that. But yeah, I've only got the plat. Ken, Ken's like, dude, this offseason I'm hitting Masters in League, guaranteed. So, that'll be interesting. I hope he streams that shit. Me, him, and Damon gotta go into like an ARAM Clash Cup. That'd be fun. I gotta, I gotta bring that back, because we were talking about that uh, leading up to champs. We were like, offseason, we gotta, we gotta play Clash Cup ARAMs. And this is a solo B capture. The season for you guys was just weathering the storm started with that surge hardpoint comeback, I think. Which was the surge hardpoint comeback? Oh, the terminal one? Is that what you're talking about? This is such a unique Karachi control game getting played right now. A slow, yeah, that was good, but I, I don't know. For me, get it done and now Hydra dealt with Pred at least there I don't know. for the trade. 20 lives. For I'm the trying attack. to think. What was the moment? And they're in the zone oh no, yeah, it was the Skid Row one. Now. You're right, you're right. Why do I think it was Terminal? We always did well against Seattle and Terminal, though. A hard point, at least. They were, they were the Terminal search keepers, though. Guys, imagine... Or remember Terminal fucking hard point? Holy shit. That was this year. Can't do enough in subliners are on the board. No kings of Karachi. Control is theirs. A wave, a pulse. A sea of yellow lights now across Allen, Texas. JP Massive, congrats on the W. This is a fairy tale event. I remember watching the live 2017 Dynasty win, and it's so heartwarming to me. Bro, it's, it's so insane, dude. It didn't even feel real. Like, when we were up on stage, that shit felt like a fever dream. But I'm so glad it happened. It's funny for me, because, like, I, I was watching Optic back in... I mean, I was watching all of the teams, but mostly, I guess, Optic back in, like late mw3 bo2 and then obviously i watched or i was i was there at the iw champs live but i was working on the back end with mlg on the production end so i wasn't like in the crowd for that um and then to actually you know work with the team to help them get another champs seven years later is insane why do we choose karachi hardpoint first that tweaked me the fuck out so I was talking about that before, but we were looking like really good in Karachi and that we were just comfortable on it. We didn't pick sub base because we knew that we could force sub base good side later on. And if we picked it map one, we were going to start bad side. So we didn't want to do that. And the other map was just Rio and we didn't want to give them Rio map one when again, they just beat us on it and that's their comfort pick. So why would we pick it 
at the start of the series for us. So that only left Karachi, and we had just beaten them on Karachi too. We were always good in scrims against them on Karachi. So, yeah. Also, why did NMISL veto high res SD and choose Karachi control first? Well, we we to veto to high res SD. Um, but they chose Karachi control first. I'm assuming because we beat them on invasion control the day before, so they wanted to try something uh, new and have that first rather than the invasion one. But I was surprised with that too, honestly. I thought we were going to play Invasion Map 3. What do you think of this real map? They fucking played this so well. Ant was having a map, AG was having, Ken was having a map. They were all having their own moments. This is a really good real hard point. Like, really good. It's an absolute madhouse in the middle of the map. There's so many ways in. And now the New York Subline is trying to find their way into this break. First one goes to Optic, Sid with the opening on the attack. And there's the contest. Yeah, Sid, nice little revenge moment. Kenny had the heads up plays, but Sid gives you two. You think it's enough? Also curious, what was the reasoning behind vetoing high rise, both SD and control? I remember you were testing it so much earlier in the year. Um, just specifically against New York. Like that's a New York matchup um, that we didn't really want. Cause we knew our high rise S and D was like getting better, but it still was it felt like we weren't able to make a lot of team play like we were just relying on individual plays on high rise SD. And you know, New York might do that too, but they were always I thought they were always really good on that map. You know, they were kind of in a sort of a slump. I think they were like one and four in their last five or something, but they I thought they were always a good high rise search team and we always felt that too. Um and then control, they were always a good high rise uh, control team too. And we weren't really comfortable on that map compared to the other two uh in the last two weeks of scrimming to actually make the break it's not gonna be the stun on point you clear them out you get the time 20 point gap from optic and shot boys lose confidence on sub base i don't think we lost confidence but we just didn't think it was as comfortable as the other ones for us and if we if it went to that map i still thought we would have won it um obviously it would have been close because i still think new york's a really good hard point team and they always make sub bases mixy but we would start a good side so I would have been confident in it regardless. It just wasn't as comfortable for us as the other maps, in my opinion. Not to say that we hated it, but it, like, it just wasn't in those, those last like couple of weeks. And who knows, that might fucking change and when we start scrimming for EWC, we might be, be back in the, on the menu, you know? But we'll see. does not want to let Hydra know that you're here. Oh, Kenny now from behind. Hydra springs, brought down. That's New York's point. And that is such a heads up play by Dashy as well to not look for those gunfights to play it patient. And he's able to give you two as well. So you flip the map on its head. You already have the lead. Optic Texas, this is their flow state when they're making the high IQ plays. We saw them win. Is Karachi the best map in scrims? It wasn't the best, but it was it was up there. And we were always comfortable on it. Just absolutely flying. Our best was still like the other maps, like six star, but we just got kept getting vetoed against us. Or Rio, Rio and six star were both really good for us. Project was also good for us too, but I knew I knew going to tournament we weren't playing six star hardpoint. And they're gonna be or we might play it like P3 once as well. or something. Fred, you gotta be worried about him getting the cruise. Is Optic looking to make this break? Big comeback opportunity right now for New York. Will they have enough to get back in it, Fred? Was this your worst hard point? Was it a match, a match of beat over New York? We had a, we spent a lot of time trying to fix it, but we were that was the, the obviously the least comfortable map that we had, um, and it just so happened that we were playing teams like obviously versus LAG. We just didn't want it to be in the series because we weren't comfortable on it. But against like LAT and New York, those both teams are pretty good Vista hardpoint teams. So there was no reason for us to play it. Like if we were playing Toronto, maybe that would have changed. Still trying to look for more though. Because they they don't really play that map too much either. But yeah, we I mean there was just a matchup thing too. Like New York likes playing Vista, like why and we're not like that comfortable compared to the other maps, so why would we play it? Posted out by the van, Kenny the potential overseer. Maybe a last minute attempt to try to cut down the lives. Hydra always ready for these gunfights. Not bad at all, is it? We call this Love the ad bombs. adaptations you guys made on Six Star Rio bomb takes. Or sorry, Six Star S and D bomb takes. Why is it Rio? Yeah, honestly, the Six Star, the Six Star, we actually played pretty well. There was just, we, I mean, we not, we went up five three, but we kind of trolled a few rounds. But uh, honestly, we were playing search pretty well the whole weekend. I 
Hydra bails you out immediately. Massive two pieces. Teammates starting to swarm. Hydra.exe has been activated and just destroyed. Can you focus on Kenny this map? Dude, Ken, Ken and Hardpoint with a bandana might be fucking him, dude. Obviously, Ant and, and AG were having maps too, but Ken was Ken was doing his thing on this map. And the map one. Oh, it's raining outside now. What the fuck? Just like in the first hard point, the cruise missile goes bang. It's an early investment and it's enough to get you off the point. Lovely work. Kenny over the top. Under the coverage of the cruise, you get back in the time. What a perfect usage as well. How do you even regain confidence after losing 12 straight S and Ds? That's coming in from Kenny. That's good enough. He's got a fucking ten seconds. A thirty second reset everything, honestly. Turn from that first Karachi. As we turn our attention towards new, it'll be optic here first again. Our final hard point in our first set. We go to the top side of the minimap, this bridge. Oh boy, this is going to be a banger. Optic in first, trophy systems in place. Let them come. And they're trying to work through the middle of the map, but Kenny's got this under lock and key, and now Prey can help you on the team, child. So you've got everything covered. Your dolphin dive into deck, and the trade on point. The teamwork is flowing. Optic slamming them on the bridge hill. Dude, the, the, the biggest thing for us, like adjustments from hard point, in the first match versus subliners versus the grand finals was dude whenever we would have a hold we were getting broken instantly you know when we were going down those like 100 points or whatever if we had guaranteed that first wave of kills i knew that that we would be able to hold that shit and that's what we did so much better in these other hard points was like our holds were just so much cleaner especially on this map just, it's like just guarantee the first wave you start getting the points and you know where they're coming from and we're just we'll be so much it'll be so much easier for us we just have to make sure the first wave is clean that's kind of like always the key for hard point too but just realizing that was the fucking problem so much time optic texas have built themselves a massive lead and shotzi inbred they have what do you think of dan gozi's performances i think he was playing out of his mind again that lat team for a team of like a rebuild team of kind of like scraps placing top four is, is, is a crazy achievement for them everything and they, they played that shit really well. Like, dude, we were, they were up 2-0 against us. We had a fucking reverse sweep them. And they were playing hard point like one of the best teams in the game. On P1, you simply cannot get through the teamwork and coordination from Optic has been on point. But finally, the trade stop rolling through, and New York Subliners get the break they desperately needed. Oh, they got the break. Can they hold? Was it kind of an onset thing that once you got the champs, that the first SD against LAG was a huge mental barrier to get through? Yeah, I, honestly, like I think everyone kind of would kind of agree. Like if if we didn't win the S and D versus LAG, but we won the series like three one, we wouldn't have looked at the series as like a win for us. Because we knew that getting a, a good start in the search and, and getting that confidence back was going to be so big for us if we were going to win the tournament, you know? Too big of a responsibility. No one was there from the help, and Optic right now need to fight for the spawn. Luckily, they got him. Kenny with the Renetti gives you a little bit extra. Optic, the advantage going into new. Oh, big win again. Low right hand side of the hard point. My goodness, Optic, what an unbelievable run. Confidence starts to flowing. Let's see if it's the same case now for the New York subliners with a listen in. Gearing up, gearing up. There's a fucking big hold, by the way. Look what happens here, because we're pushed out and because we don't, we're not blocking the back or anything. They spawn out here. It's a weird situation. We spawn garage, so we know they're spawning the back, and we and we die middle. They're coming from every angle, and we somehow hold this shit. I'm gonna try to hit this hole. I'm jungle. I'm jungle. I got needed again. Stay alive. I'm jungle. He's con, con. I'm in the back jungle. Con, AG, watch out. I'm jungle. I'm jungle. I'm jungle. I'm jungle. I'm jungle. Sorry if this is already asked, but I'm assuming this will be uploaded. Yeah, I'll upload the whole thing. Honestly, it'll be too it'll be too annoying to edit everything, so I'll just upload the whole fucking stream to YouTube or something. 
I think he's back to back shot. Back, back, back shot, back shot, 100%. Back shot, back shot. Did you kill him? No, no, back shot, full shot, Kenny. Full shot. We're gonna get to the back. To the back, I have it. Hey, jab all the right. Shot, shot, shot. Is he weak? No, 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 no. Hey, jab the right. Have all the right, okay? I'm Kobe, I'm Kobe. That's all you have. Kenny's playing his right shot. Kenny's playing his right shot. He's in the back. He's weak shot. Up top. Copy, copy. Watch his boxes. Watch his boxes. Watch his boxes. One more crack. Made the play here. It was a big 30. Like Ken being missing here and being a fucking nuisance for them was so massive. He's got steps, cat steps. I think he's back to back shot. Back, back shot, back shot, 100%. Back shot, back shot. Did you kill him? No, full shot, full Kenny, full shot. We're gonna get to the back. To the back, I have it. Hey, jab on the right, jab on the right. Is he weak? No, 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 no. Hey, jab on the right, jab on the right. They're focusing on him so hard. He gets another kill. Kenny's playing his right shot. He's weak shot. And then we break for the last 30. Fucking huge fight back then. It matters not how good the listening was, the scoreline absolutely mm. magnificent. Appreciate it, JP. Congrats on the win, man. Been waiting for the big one. Hey, I've been waiting for the big one too, bro. This is like a dream come true. That was my like career goal, so I gotta figure out a new career goal. I guess it's been another one. I don't know, dude. Maybe with a touch of momentum, but New York Subliners have a deep, deep hole to climb out of. They're climbing there. Oh no, that's a massive win. Pressure now onto the hard point. Last man in, Skies. He takes one with him, but that's the break. And that's real close to the win. I think right now they are looking for their victory lap on Rio. They are removing Damn. all doubt. They are winning every gunfight as well. Pred, they fall into his lap. The like the, the, the players have white noise pumping into their, their headsets and stuff. But when the crowd is this loud, that shit bleeds into it 100%, by the way. The final moments. When the crowd gets loud like that, that shit bleeds into the comms. Sky is leading the charge for the subliners. Here come the nades. Over to Shotzi. Lying in wait. Did you guys do anything different when preparing for Chan for his last major? We kind of retooled a lot of things, especially Surge. Brought down, and it's New York with the break. I don't know how Sid got those two kills, but you're gonna need so much more than that. 13 seconds, and we're about to watch Optic go ballistic with the pop off. Mid map's crawling now with green players. Chelsea the cutoff. Looking for the win. Dashi has got to bring this man down. There's the opening fight. Fred the reinforcements. Skies is down. The Renetti sings out. And this could be it. Oh! Off the time, you at least force it over towards P1. Wow. And Sib out of nowhere there to pick up three. But 10 seconds remaining in Pred. When you have a lead like this, all the time in the world to go for these. The double breaks. pinch Hydra to break. the read and shuts them down. Subliners Kills AG. They're not they're expecting the double one. pinch. Oh and gets two. two. Huge fucking plays. That's Ann and AG be on the same fucking page on what they're going to do. Because we know, like, we can just easily break this. They're probably going to only expect one guy to do it. AG dies here. But, again, we talk about so much. You know, this is a big kill. This is a big kill. This is a big death. Because he dies here, they think, like, okay, he's the only one pitching. They don't know Ants here. And it just gets a free two-piece, basically. Machine guns of Optic Texas. They have absolutely eviscerated the New York. Fucking Sub huge map. They played that shit so well. It is a rampage on Rio. All right, let's go to Major Search. To be percentage and first for defense from Optic. If you're playing against New York, you know Sid has in. It's like a bait and switch, but one, one player actually dying. Yeah, basically, but again. As long as you get the trade, 
That shit's worth it. B site when he's on defense. You know the wall thing spots are going to come. You get the through. trade, you get the info. But I think the best attacking team in the game, they've got options. Subliner starting things off. Hydra already record breaking performances. And a B site that has been left open. And you can see the setup right now. Number two on your internet, Shotzi. He's saying anything you can do, I can do better. Optiger setting up to steal the strat directly from New York. Wow, good shots. Seven Pred open proceedings here. They discharge their weapons at one another and nobody drops. A lot of time though, pass chance 45 on the clock. And again, this might just come down to the wall thing. The one thing I was very surprised is that they kept picking offense round one on invasion. He's I was so surprised with that. Depth of the spawn, and frankly, because no one's here defending the B site, I mean, you just they won it so against us, I guess, in the first in the, the first series, I think. But in this oh, one, you've thrown lethal smoke. We beat him. Thrown it all. Kenny now. Actually, no, no, we Eyes won. On. We no won damage. invasion round one both in. or both maps. But that's a problem. And now you got 22 But they kept picking invasion offense, so I was I was very confused with that. I thought they were gonna pick defense. You send in Big Bruce. You're still trying to plot the bomb. And you know, this is funny because we were just using the wobbing spot back you know, in tagged up, but Hydra able to get the bomb down, but not until it is a four. Because no trophies, two. probably, but I mean, Fred. still invasion. Griffin on mid map, no one getting through. Kenny, now pressure. You have to run for it. Subline is they don't have the manpower. They do not have the hit points. Dashi brings down another Hydra. <laughs> yeah, they, you're right. They didn't get a kill till like round four, so obviously one. we won the first round. Anything subliners can do, Optic are saying they can do better. A perfect four kills to none round of search and destroy. Shati Rit. How many more of those? Yeah. Did a all the stat best on the attacking rounds, and a lot of the times they lean towards that A site. Question is, who do you want to play against? You can see the tags already ringing through the map. So much space has been taken. Hydra lying in wait for the kill. Will Shotzi go plant now? Pred right back to the middle of the map. This is his playground. Wait for Teams it. you were most impressed by so besides y'all? Oh, 100% LET. I thought they down. were playing this super well. Man from Opti going towards B is a dangerous game. Now bomb is down. A man Are you going pro next season? No. Everybody for Optic Texas trapped in the back corner. Here comes Why don't CDL do randomized map sets for games? Because Vito's makes so much Guns more sense on a competitive Hold level. One versus three, he is surrounded. Imagine going to grand finals against exit another there. team Someone and you just happen to get their best maps and your worst maps. That, in that makes no sense to me. Beautiful work. You dial right back in there. Gifted a lineup. As Sid makes short work of a pair. Right place, right time, and you do not let go of that trigger. And sometimes things just fall into your lap, Sid. Look at the draw. The snap, I mean, but if you line up why are we? Easy to kill why are we lining up? Look, look at the draw, though. On Rio like, as what? Well, a For a competition, finals, like. But being down it doesn't make sense to me. Sub -honors, their best advantage all year against Optic has been the S&D. They need it here the most. Opening salvo. Doesn't find a whole lot. <clears throat> and Pred is incredibly aggressive. This is far forward. I mean, he's hanging out in the middle of the map. Signing first blood. Another beautiful opener here again. New York. They punish the overcommitment. And Dash is the only oh. man they're looking for, and they got him. You get the trades, you know, Kenny was out of the picture. Get the yeah, we'll look at Ant's play Kenny, so later on. on. Hasn't been spotted yet. Plant towards A. Now that you won champs, will you I fill out your apartment? So Kenny might be able to I, find dude, it. I gotta get a new couch. Oh my. And I gotta get some artwork or something for the walls. I wanna get, the, the dude, I wanna get this, uh, Both. I wanna get this photo framed. I fucking love this photo. The photo of us, like, uh, the dude, this one. I wanna get this photo framed for my apartment. This photo is fucking perfect, I swear. I wanna get that shit framed. Handled beautifully, Pred. We acknowledged it. Hyper aggressive down the middle of the map, standing <clears> tall until Kismet there to gun him down. And Hydra picking up. Now exactly you won, you get the guitar session. No shot, yes, dude. Please. No shot. Every Just because we won, I never said that. Right now, for these players, 
And if I'm thinking about the optic playbook on evasion, <laughs> S and D. How does a warm up look on Champ Sunday? Uh, we get there. VOD session, uh, like last last VOD session of the year. Uh, and then free for all bots and two v two. We would like to do two v two DOS house hardpoint, where they would all just use subs. That's how they would get warm. Be the call. Sid though, the lone defender of B. But you see the spread of the map. They're just looking to see if they can get one of those first bloods before they start making moves, but favoring this A site. Trying to find the equalizer here. And Shossi, eager to get into the mix. Watch out for Hydra. He is on a three spree. And this map control, though, coming in from subliners is absurd. Two players that were pushed up over towards B. I mean, the tank has been cleared. This is just perfect. Players that were pushed up Kismet over playing B. no trophy I mean, on the mid tank. Double nade him. Get the free first blood. Coordination on point, man. Advantage. Hydra doesn't give up anything. He knows it's a player. Back and Ant gets another kill over there. Him. Still holding it together. Hydra finds another four now in a row. Skies. Ends up becoming a 2v2, but we know where Paco is, and four now in a row. Skies. they just play for him. DVD. Now 2v1. <laughs> Again, we, we just we game planned a lot on the invasion the last two days, and we just played that shit so well this weekend. And he triggered discipline in the wrong moment. And he got spotted on the cross. It's going all the way around, though. Skies just keeps moving. Again, very loud. Whoa, can't find it. He doesn't oh see the guy. God. Wait a minute. He doesn't see. Toronto. Just like to head for the. Dashy squaring up on the cross as well. That is three players. This is right a great the... call. Dashy squaring up on the cross as well. Aggressive fucking cafe players just right playing the, the back door. We haven't done this in, the setup coming in from the SMGs. years, I swear. One, two, three, yeah, two for three. one. Bomb site. Certainly yours. And bomb down. Pred, we are pushing pace right now. Hunting down the Phenom. Lives up to the name. Skies up next. Brings it down. S Invasion SD map and mode of the year. Oh, for our team, 100%. He has gone around. Probably. He's got him spotted. Skies. It was such an important map for us. We literally won it in all three uh, matches to win Major 3, and we won it in, in their sights. Winners Finals so, and Grand Finals of Cod Champs. Think about that. That's huge There's for no us. Without being spotted, you have to take a fight. Oh, this might be the fight. Skies has been forced back inside again. Wait a minute. 30 seconds, 1v1. These are clean reads. Two of the most clutch players in the league. Two of the most clutch players in the this league. This is such a huge 1v1 by, by Brandon. Lands. Skies. Finesse, the use the pistol. Is the process coming out soon? I would assume sometime lead. at the end of this the week or next week. Maker, I think Raj and JP are both working super hard on that. The oh, it'll probably be so dope. Renetti in the game. Dashi reduced to 41 HP and he converts in the strategy's first three kills. And this is because Dashi, the lethal threat, he is Grim said that before the finals, Ken was really quiet and focused while everyone else was joking around. Did you feel the same? Um, a little, but that's kind of always what it is usually. Ken's, Ken's a little bit more, I mean, Ken will, Ken, Ken will have some fun before, but I, I think he is the most focused when it comes to that type of stuff, for sure. The cross, he's willing but they were all locked, don't, don't get me wrong. Like we, they, they, they'll make jokes they and stuff, but they, they were all locked going into the match. That's just them being them, good vibes, flank. making jokes and shit. And if I'm the tank player, another, do another double, another double nade mid tank. And if I'm the Free tank first player, blood. I'm worried about the nades. That's exactly what they did last time. A different spot to make it happen, but two first bloods from frag grenades landing on that mid tank. The whole this was bad because our, do hey, we plus, lose this round? It is the duo, Shossi and Pred. I feel like we lost this round. Two now. every time. Big advantage. Sim oh, this okay. One two. This is a miscom. So we get the first blood on the guy mid tank. A plus. It is and it, the there's duo. a there's a disagreement that goes on, and this was annoying to, to us because it was like both, like so Ken wanted to, us to play for this guy and ag wanted us to play for this guy and i see the the opportunity for both like honestly we could just run out double child this guy get this kill instantly we win the round 
But the thing was, the first call that was made was Ken wants to push this guy out P2 tank, kill this guy, and then we have B side control. So there was just a miss. It was like a a little disagreement for a few seconds that kind of fucked everything up because we just both we had different priorities on which guy we wanted to kill, which sucks because like it shouldn't be happening COD champs finals, but that was the disagreement. And that's why we end up losing this round because then we don't do either and we kind of half half both. Time. And Big we died to this guy mid-tank. So that was, that was that was annoying for us, well, but so much time I see the round. opportunity for both. Nice for I think it was just Ken was annoyed because he he oh, made the call no. first. But I think if we get the kill mid-map, we probably like guarantee the round. So it's it's oh, I see the opportunities for both. And then Ant goes here before, Dead like, we're, the other guys are ready. So, again. it was just, like, little man Rebels advantage things in this specific round right that kind of annoyed the fuck out of us. Like, me and Damon. Because this is a big round. We go up 4-2, it's way different than being 3-3, you know? How come they didn't 2-2 two -two split then? Because 2-2 uh, two -two splits you know, aren't always great, and you might as well just 3-1 something. Can Bruce do it again? The answer is no. Sib. Ice cold. Tagged him back. And the timing just not quite there. As a coach, do you let Shotzi do his thing for the most part? It must be difficult to find the balance between helping and overcoaching with some such a natural talent. Oh, hundred percent. I know his intentions for the most part. Obviously there's a specific times where it's like, oh, if he would have just chilled out here a little bit. But I know his intentions and for the most part you just you just let him rock. Like he he's a very impactful player. It's going to happen sometimes. Where that should happen. Are we going back and forth again? Big Bruce has had a great map so far. The one v one win certainly helps. On the other side, Sib six and four. Hey, I appreciate Absolutely the congrats messages. Chelsea far forward once again. On the we go for an A counter here. Saw a player in they don't go A, the so they're just in their spread now. The bomb. That means Kismet wants to make a play. And it's going to go towards this mid cut. Kiz wants. Kiz and they're, they're shifting a little bit. Sky is definitely saw Chelsea there. Hey, Joshy Maz, appreciate the reset with Prime. Mid tank trophy, you'll need that. Have a minute to go now. Ken's presence is huge here for us. There's one. Like they're gonna start crossing B here now. Over to Kenny. Frag we can't do the wall being spot anymore at this point because Ant has a sub. I mean, I guess one of these guys could do it, but it's usually Ant who would do that for us. And Ant just gets a timing here. So this guy who was holding this uh, bottom DVD push, Skies, wraps to back blue and it gets a great timing on us. He goes to back DVD door, gets a free kill on the bomb carrier. Save holding the bomb for them this round. Now, they, these guys are tweaking because they have to go get bomb now. They have to cross back towards mid cut. At least this guy does, Paco. Optic just tighten their grip around the B bomb site. Kismet trying to and it's crazy timing here because Sky is wrapped around towards Coffin. And Ant's not expecting him to be Coffin. Ant's expecting him to be like somewhere black blue, back blue. Or in blue or, you know, whatever. So he sees Sky's here. He lays down from him, throws a dead nade so he can't, you know, push him out. And he yeah. knows that he could be child from somebody. DVD. Bomb site. Kismet trying to punch so he turns his back because he knows like... If they're a good team, they're going to communicate that he's fucking front DVD and they're going to rush at him from DVD like one of these broken guys or one of the guys from the treehouse over here. And that's exactly what they do. So this is a fucking insane read by Ant to play for this other guy. But there is kill him. And then he knows Skies is in blue. And he just, he corrects his shot and absolutely and makes the fucking play. And he goes, you are fucking dog shit. He stands up. Dude, I've never seen Ant look this mad, bro. This guy is the nicest dude in the world, the nicest player. And once he did this, I got so hyped. I was laughing, dude, in the back. Damon and I were like, oh my god, what did he just turn into? So that shit was, that shit was so funny. Once we, once he did that, I knew we were winning the map, 100%. Bobby Lyon. What a round. That's a huge round too. 3-3. Three, three. Huge round.
Tough round for him. Optic take the lead. We're used to Shotzi being a silent killer, an assassin-like player as he dances around the map. Sends his Diego Lawson straight up, bro. I my, my voice is is, is about to be out. To let you know. If it's we'll not already. Do now. Hunter, <coughs> line and wait. You got to be kidding me. He has new spots, or is he on the ground? He's, he has uh, new spots. He's got new spots. Good for him. That's insane. <laughs> Look at this spot. I thought Amp, there was no way that they kill him here, and, and, and Paco just jumps and somehow gets the kill. Good luck checking this. Paco a made the fucking play here, by the way. Is. Yeah, flank secure, but Kismet's going to be the guy right now for this ace. Well, we we, we, we take A super well. Yeah, you see the guy mid-cut? Get the kill oh, mid-cut. That's a big kill by Ken. Somehow Ant doesn't get this kill. Paco oh, makes a win. fucking Freebie. play. This is an insane play by Paco. That's an insane win. Hydra built different, looking to tie things up. Now wait, this is insane. So Kismet's playing patio. He's waiting for the bomb plant to go down, right? Kenny gets the bomb down. Dude, the movement that Ken is making here to get safe is fucking insane. It looks crazy. And dude, I was talking to Ken right after it because that was the first thing I brought up to him. I was like, dude, how the fuck did you get out of that A bomb after you planted that shit? He's like, I don't know. I just fucking sprinted head down in real life as well. Try to get out. I don't know how he got into cafe. And AG is right there for, for the help. But the movement looked insane. Planted. Choking it again. You need to bail out in he this get, He's a weird Rip timing. He, uh, who is it? Brandon. Man, Brandon says that Paco's B Dom. So he says he's B Dom, and Kenny thinks that he's actually at the mid tank because this is technically like B Dom too. He didn't think he was on the left side here. Choking it again. So that's you why he gets a weird timing with him, and he actually kills the guy or like shoots the guy A first. And it's a weird situation because Paco gets that trade. He's been seen, but he's and now it's a two v two, but we know where they're at. You gotta cross out the and we just get this kill of Cafe. Now it's 2v1. Two on <clears throat> and and Pogger gets another insane kill on, on Brandon there. One, but AG's just there for, uh, for the trade right away. Stokes, appreciate the sub with Brian. Another huge round. I don't know how Ken got away with his life. That's a massive dagger round too. 4-3. Now you go up 5-3. And and AG just takes the timing to go beat Dom here. No one's watching it for them because uh, their first guy went straight to gas. They didn't have anyone at the cross tank watching it, so he just takes his timing. Big first blood on Paco. Now it's a four v three, and four v three on defense invasion might as well be a fucking chalked up win, straight up. Chelsea this time. Oh, you such a nerd. I choked. That's all right. Doesn't matter. Kismet might fall into it as well. This is timing right here. Call of Duty timing at its finest. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He Somehow points. Ant gets one before his. I, I thought he was going to get trapped. Timing right. I thought he was going to get trapped here. This time. Like, oh, Kismet he goes to well. top broken. Dude, if Kiz, if Kiz goes low broken, or who is this? this is timing right Who's here. seventh? Call yeah, if Kiz goes low finest. broken. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He finds one. He would have got the kill. I mean, he gets the trade anyways. But Ant getting one there before he dies is so huge. the plays on him smartly. Backing down. Looking for a trophy system at this moment in time. It would certainly help. Man advantage. Plays on Pred. Plays on Pred. The bomb crawling straight towards him. Full pockets. Might not need to throw anything here. Uh-oh. Timing. The fellow's crossed over. Now Brennan sees them both be Dom. AG can get this kill on Kiz. They see last guy mid-tank. To stay alive. In the map. And all we have to it's do is basically run at this guy. Skies has been in hell. All these clutches and it's not gonna last. Kenny, Bomb down to 19 the seconds. The they... he has to worry about. I mean, Ken, Ken actually gets headshotted four bullet there, but big Bruce. Brandon ices up. 1v1. Fucking huge map. As soon as we won that map, I, I was like pretty sure we were gonna win. I didn't want to say anything, obviously, but that was a huge map to go up 4-1. All right, final map. Ended off on invasion control. On an offensive win, by the way. We were the, what, probably the best offensive team throughout the year, or close to that. Wait, Brandon's handshaking? I, wait, when did they actually play that? The crowd absolutely loving this. Coach JP. When did they...
Oh, right after the map? Was it after or before these highlights? It's probably here. Oh yeah, here. Dude, he was even saying it. He, he said this last night, but he was like, he was like, in this arena, and it's I think he was like, I was, I was, I might've been the only one that was also just realizing at that very moment, like we are winning COD champs, basically. Like he, this is the realization of like himself that like he's going to win COD champs is basically this. It's, that's just the realization that's like settling in for him right now. He's like, we just need one more. Like, this is the realization we're going to win. Like, that is literally him figuring out that, like, he's going to be a champion. Or a COD, COD a champion. You know? And then he was so sure of it right here. Like, Absolutely as soon as I... The last thing I hear him say is, like... We're not losing a fucking map, or yes. we're, we're not playing another fucking map, or some shit like that. That's that's what he says over here. Optic now, it is within their grasp. It's so close, they can touch it. They just need. And Kismet popped off on the control. We gotta get D before to recreate the iconic picture. Wait, that would be fire. I'm surprised he didn't do that yesterday. I'm pretty sure he had his rings yesterday. Maybe he did do it. I don't. I don't know if they took a picture of that. Yet to really be in the <clears> here. Jesus in Christ. Grand final, After getting no ticks first round, bro. First. That was the annoying part for me. We were, we were just like, guarantee B and we'll win every round, bro. And we didn't guarantee B or get any ticks the first round. And, and I was like, again, oh shit, dude. Get to play loose with a lead like this. Flow State does get shut down. Ooh. You win the gunfights across the board. Subliners on defense for the moment. Holding strong. When they lost the first round, Formal said it, it's a good thing to get brought back safe. down to earth. Honestly, oh, yeah, yeah for sure. That's just timing bad. Like, you can't, you can't, you just gotta be humbled a little bit. Be like, you haven't won yet, you know? For a moment, but tall order for Kenny there to stay alive. No trophy, no help. And we talk about this map being won in one of two ways. If you can dominate someone on defense and slow down that tick progression, oh. that is the way to go. But good awareness by Dashi. The trade's gonna be through. You at least take care of... Honestly, this first round was just horrible. Caption. Like, we didn't even get B off this shit. I'll just skip it. Probably the best. Pulling out spots like this in the I think they get finals. four ticks this round. Doesn't matter. Hydra looking for his moment. Kismet Who designs chance rings? I actually have no idea. I don't know if it's a team or the CDO. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Number one. You're so close to getting A in your second offense, dude. I know. I thought we were gonna get it. Are you posting this on YouTube? Yeah, I'll post the whole thing on YouTube. It'll probably end up being fucking two and a half hours long or whatever, but I might as well just post the whole thing. From the deficit. There you go, though. At least you open up the floodgates to get towards this zone. But now spawn kills being set up. Fred gets two on one side, and now he's getting the players outside of Palace. New York subliners trying to push past. What well, problem, though? You're starting to run out of hit points. A lot of damage been dealt there by the Optic Boys. What a shot! From Do you favor getting kills or everyone action. getting on the point? All map out shouting to please stack the point. There's situations for both. There's situations well. for both. Ideally, like stacking the, the point with two people and having other people get kills, but there are situations where it's like, bro, if you're at like a six, like five to six life lead, bro, getting those kills can legit finish the round sometimes. So it's very situational. Like I, I think it was the second offense or something. Like as we were getting B, Ken, Ken was just like, we were up like six lives. He was like, yo, just play your fucking kills here. Like, we were we were up so many lives. Maybe it was the last offense. I don't remember. It may have been the last offense. You can stop this V zone again. We're playing for the tick game right now. But I, me, like me and Damon, were always like just guarantee B. You'll have so many more lives and and chances to get A. So you might as well just cap the point first. But there are there are situations where going for the kills is not bad. But if you if you don't get those kills, you're fucking trolling. Because then rebaking back on in if you're just solo capping or some shit is the worst that you can be doing. You're just not playing for the win. This is an unbelievable moment. And how often have we seen Hydra not on the chase playing? Hey, I appreciate the Osprey. The streak continues. Subliners playing a different game. We're just watching magic unfurl before our eyes. 
Can Chelsea get the six? Everyone lost their voice. Yeah, I know. Aware. Hydra was trying to play to get past that <coughs> line. Come on, Kenny's making plays. It's, in, it's not even. I lost my voice, but ultimately, just my throat just hurts. It's not like a sore throat is in like swallowing, but it, it just hurts because of. Out of nowhere. I don't know. Just yelling and still fighting towards a talking all weekend. And other shit, I guess. Maybe, maybe I am getting sick. As well. Post post land yeah, sickness is a real thing. So. Skies and Hydra, the only two I was trying to wash my hands as much as possible. But. Big tag, Sky's forced back. Dash, gets what do you think Phage should drop to get better? Again, guys, I don't Sky's get into other people's camps and give advice or what I think they should do or what they should not do. But that's just that's just me. Like, I don't know what's going on th with their camp. That's not my business. So, they make a change, they make a change. That's just... I'll, I'll worry about our team. They can worry about their team. Optic equalize. Keep in mind, though, because of the first dominant round subliners had on defense, they still have to take advantage only by. Press on the women who always getting a run just to six of you? Uh, I have no idea. I, I think so, but I don't know. Not easy task. Maybe the staff, too, as well. Like some very, office staff, like Paige and control map. Can certainly turn on his head at any moment. Other people. And right now, like Hexen. Masterclass, Kismet not too far behind Hydra there. Everyone. As well. I don't, I don't really know how the ring shit yeah, works. This is my first well, one, so I don't know. Door, easy gunfire win there from Hydra. Working his B zone. Optic, they are Do you think Ultra slash Phage would have put up a better fight based on screens and map pool? Perfect. Um. Maybe, I don't know, it's just, I think for us it's a matchup thing with New York, we, we always, like, had their number on LAN, but, you know, they, like, New York beat FaZe, like, New York was having, and, and they beat Toronto, you know, they were having really good matches versus them, like, but against us, I guess it was just a little bit different, I don't know, but New York, again, it's not like New York was playing horribly, like, dude, they played well the whole weekend, they just, against us, we were, and not even just, I mean, in the grand finals, it wasn't close, but dude, the, the game, or the, the, the grand, not grand finals, but the winner's finals was, was close. Dude, we were down 100 points in both hard points. We, we had to come back to win the Karachi and the Rio, we like came back on it, but we still lost. This by your teammates, so much space. Heart in his throat after that very, very brief lapse of concentration. Gold object chain as well. Yeah, we got the chain. Should be done. We got the chain and we got the ring this weekend. So we're seen this fight before. Moment of we're jewelry up. I don't really wear necklaces too much, so I don't know how much I'll wear it. But every match from now on is is that's that is on for sure. We haven't lost a match with me wearing it on yet, or we're wearing it off. Or sorry, no, yeah, we haven't watched. Jesus Christ, we haven't lost a match with me wearing it. So trying to play a guarantee. Such a strong. We're four now. Oh, what a stun! Case big win. Hyper aware and Hydra's there for the fall. What dates are EWC? Nice uh, I want to say it's like August 14th or something. 15th? Somewhere mid August. An interesting time to see when Shotzi wants to invest that cruise missile at the moment far away. Or sometime mid August. 18 and 12 for Shotzi. And now battling forward, Kenny. Trades once again. No one able to get to that zone. Fighting fit, but Kenny, oh, battling one at a time. You gotta take your time. Play I thought kills. we were gonna cap A here in this, point. Here to watch this cross. in this Thanks round. Huge. Plenty of damage in. A team nade. We get the team nade. We get the three down. I don't know. Maybe I, I guess Ant goes to stack here instead. But I don't mind him playing out here. He gets two kills, right? Yeah. I mean, they get the two piece. It's just I don't think we have a trophy on point. That's the problem. This is it. We don't have a trophy. And Brandon loses that one. Will it secure the round? It might just skies. Oh, they just get back just in time. Kenny now in. Keep in mind, it is a nine versus five. They were stewed. They were so close to capping it. If we end up losing this map because of how close that was, that would have been such a dagger. Love the interview of you guys and the players, Damon. I had to guess him in this in the interview because Damon Damon had gasped me right before in the interview. So I was like, I gotta gas them all. Because they were they were gas gassing me before too. So I figured it was my duty to, to repay. 
This goal line defense might be the bailout. Two players are going to fight Kenny, encroaching on the A zone, but he is gone down. Chelsea's trying to find an opener through the back line. It might help out his boys. They're not. We just didn't have enough time. If we had like five more seconds, maybe. Actually, no, he doesn't win the gunfight. Sorry, I thought we got back on the point for some reason. That is enough Never for mind. subliners to keep their lifeline alive. Well, we're kind of like rushing to the point. So Make maybe no if we had a little more time to, to work something. But that was so close. Offensive players on invasion shut down. Oh, big win for Sky. fighting up close and personal down a sieve. Do you also do you also get a so ring as a one man as S and D coach? I would assume so. Well, I'm not just I'm not an S and D coach. I'm just an analyst coach in general. I don't like focus in S and D or anything, but. Subliners always uh, I believe so. Or yeah, I'm, I'm assuming I'm getting a ring. So. Gives you the one. You'll take one. Hydra the late trade. Unfortunate team shot. Wow, Sib. He's fighting for his life over here. Here's me. Moves forward. You know when you guys up. are scrimming again? Uh, we'll be up. scrimming. Shots as well. I mean, so much What's called? Damage by Sib and uh, probably at the beginning of August at some point. Some teams are playing the Someone second. Right some people are playing the fourth. So sometime around. Then. These kills. Yeah, round we'll right take now. a little bit off, like a week, a week and a half. You posting this video after? Yeah, I'll post this whole thing to YouTube. He's on the trades. Easy trades, and he keep that. Some teams are. I mean, if they didn't play a champ, some some were starting a little earlier. But I know all the, at least all the champ teams that I know are not starting until like August, probably. Have they done it? It's 35. Clock paused. Hydra brought down. Eventually, B zone soon to be captured. One minute and 36. And a lovely, healthy life count for both teams. And this is defense for the round five for New York, but that's only if we. So they get the B cap, and that's a guaranteed D for them. So we're like, okay, if it's going round five, we have to win an offense to win. Finals, you need the Which can be done, but obviously is not uh, not ideal. Subliners looking to pop off. We slow things right down here. Will it count as a major? Um, I would assume so because of the prize pool and because of the team's going, but it's not going to have, I don't think it's going to have that same feel that Champs has. It's like, you don't win a ring for it, it's just the icing on the cake of that prize pool, you know? It's it's not it's not caught champs in my opinion at least. I don't I'm not viewing it as, as that. Even though it's like kind of like the same prize pool. I'm looking as as the uh, icing on the cake. Another extra tournament for us, but champs was at least for me the goal. Optiker just turtled in this setup. You have subliners keeping up the pressure so effectively. Shots the eyes on eyes on Hydra. A single bullet. And now 30 seconds to go. Two dead. Kenny's got to stay alive. Got to stay alive. If he falls before reinforcements show up, it's going to be trouble. Big win. Kiz pinched. That was a big win by Ken because it ends up being a 1v1 here. And we have to get this call to point. And this is important because, dude, it's it's 9 to 5. Like, they, we just have to hold them off the point. And they have a really big life lead, but all we have to do is hold them off the point for 15 seconds. And because we have the crosses and stuff now, it's it's kind of hard for them. We just have everything, and we're playing super tight. That was big. And then we go to round 5 offense. Have to win an offense to win. We go for a guarantee B. I, dude, this is so hindsight, but I wish AG had played to the right of the dumpster. He plays this angle, and this gives a chance for Paco to win it. If I swear if he played the one on the right, he wins the gunfight on the break. But it's whatever. We still end up obviously winning, but... First man in, Shotzi, That's just like a nitpick thing that I was thinking of. Fred loses the battle for mid. And you right now, if you're the subliners, you can't play it, afford to play different. You gotta keep And gets into blue. Right now, it is Shotzi, you know when he gets over pace. here, he's getting fucking lost. And they're going to be tweaking about him. Up. We'll see if this pays off. Nobody there on the point, a lot of noise. Shotzi, here he goes. Kenny on the zone. That's three. This break off looks so weird. They get the three down though, and now he can get pushed out. Now he's cutting spawners. So this is the situation where Ken called out that he was going to stack the point, and everyone just just play your play the next wave. Because AG gets his kill on Dante, and Ant's already pushed up, and he doesn't want like he doesn't want AG to get timing where he runs back mid cut, tries to stack, and they're still going to have to watch their mid cut anyways. So he might as well just stay out. 
watch speed dom mid cut in case anyone goes through the middle of the map brandon's already working towards a and, and ants obviously finessing in, in blue might have found the route to get to this a zone slowly but surely bruce now finds his way in it's it both zones under attack at the same time new york split the difference Big brandon because of the distraction that ants creating he goes right he gets on point and now he's creating the distraction for them to to get some kills on this point and stack this point because this is so hard because now number seven is the only one that can break this b point and he's not even able to do it so we guarantee the b cap and we have a six live lead but optic the slow capture on b connects an extra minute delivered two now it's just for us it was like if we guarantee b cap we are really good at getting a after getting that b cap or at least putting that pressure on five lives for optic texas to win the championship but subliners, here we go. Adrenaline flowing. First on fight. Trades. They're in. You're Big kills. The here. One man left. Kismet. Final man. Brings Kismet one actually wins that gun fight, which is huge. Dashy on the capture. Doesn't have a trophy. The pressure. Oh, we're still holding the cross. Kismet. Brandon's on point. Looking He's getting stunned and everything. I think they clear us off of this right here, right? But look at the live now. lead. We're already at an eight live done. lead. The zone is with a, a minute 40 left. Three players now from Optic are gonna be here. Ken sees this guy, gets a big kill top gas. Three down. We get the last guy kept, uh, killed. Now we can go back to point. They end up retaking back on here. But I think it's mostly again because we don't have, or not because we don't have a trophy, but what happens here? I forget what happens here. Because we have the cross here, right? How do they retake on, on this? I know Brandon gets one. Oh, he doesn't get to kill him, Paco. That's the thing. That, that, that's the issue. Yeah, and Dante gets a uh, Dante gets a kill front cafe, and because AG isn't able to get the cross to point yet, he's able to get another kill on. Um, or he's able to put pressure on this side, so it takes Ken's attention off of the backside, and he dies to that side. But again, we're up eight alive with a minute 30. So it's just like, just do something this together. Just literally just do something together. Now, and we're, we're chilling. Optic can win this in one just got to play ways. trades and do something together. They, can they start playing some credits and getting some kills, which is which is big. So close, yet so far. And now far well, we end up, uh, I think Skies ends up getting to Nero here. No, like at the, the river bridge. And no one right now for New York can we get the kill DVD. We get the kill uh, towards this blue dump. The furthest push up guy is Skies here. And Ant actually hits him with a nade. He holds that line. And the nade is fucking perfect. The this this kill is everything right here. This you kill that he gets Nero. Because otherwise he would be able to like just stay alive here and then just, you know, inch his way up and kill us trying to cross to A or something. Because we know he's here. On the map. They're looking to set up this push. Ant gets the nade kill. Fucking massive. Massive kill. This is the final kill. Because that we knew that was the, the furthest push-up guy. Now, if we just get any kills, cafe or mannequin, it should be GG's. Get the kill on point. Furthest push -up guy up is is now cafe. We get the trade on him. AG gets two kills in the back gas here. We just win. We just go to double stack. Win the round. Fucking win champs. Perfect, dude. Five one. We worked so hard for this, straight up, like, the last two weeks going into this champs, I said it in the interview, but we worked so hard because we wanted to get back to that Major 3 level, and Major 4 was a, was a bust for us, and we needed to, uh, we honestly just needed to, to just reset and get back to that level that we were at, kind of re retool some things, but it was awesome, so, thank you guys for, for tuning in and watching that, that was the, the grand finals, um, yeah, uh, thank you guys all for like the support throughout the year. Uh, obviously, you know, I took a little break with the streaming once we weren't doing too well, just to put all my free time into uh, helping them out and helping like the team out because I felt like, oh, if I have free time, I might as well just do that instead of stream. Um, which at the end of the day is like, okay, it's a good trade off, but uh, I still should focus on doing the content stuff. Honestly, it's just I didn't want to have to deal with all the background noise you guys know. So. Yeah, we'll be back on the streams with the off season and with obviously going into EWC. So, yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate you guys for all the support the entire year. This one was obviously for you guys, and I'm so glad that we were able to to pull it off for you guys. So, appreciate it, guys. I'm a I'm a head out. 
I'm going to probably go for a walk or something because my voice is completely chalked. Appreciate you, all the subs, the follows, everything. Tune it in. Um, and yeah, I got some some cool ideas for some off-season streams. And obviously, we'll still do some more VOD sessions. I'll probably go throughout all of the matches for champs or at least all of our matches. And because we do have a, a bit of time, at least until EWC. And so that will give me some content to work on. And then over the off season, I have some ideas. So I'll share with that, uh, that with you guys later on. But thank you guys for, for tuning in. Appreciate you guys. If you watch on YouTube, subscribe. Thank you guys for tuning out the channel or tuning into the channel. Uh, but thank you guys all for, for joining me today and all the support this year. Appreciate it, guys. And I will, I will see you guys in the, in the next stream.